Alania. Alania Griffin, hello, how are you? That's the first person I see in here. Hello everybody, welcome to Jenny Young's Live. Give a thumbs up if you have not done so. You're gonna need to back out, give a thumbs up. During this live, let's make the thumbs up match with the people that's in here. I see 29 of you in here. How's everybody doing? Mary, hello, a little bit. Erica Parks, how you doing? Hello, everybody, hello. Welcome, come on in. Gonna have fun here at the Young's house. We got a fish fry. We got a fish fry going on, y'all. Fish fry is going on. Michelle Mason, hello, Elania, hello. How's everybody doing today? I hope y'all are having a great day today. Denise is here, Renee, Debbie Bess is here. Thomas Smith, hello. Sonia, hello, how are you? Helen Starr, how are you? Maddie, how are you? Tammy is here. Maurice, Kim, and Penny. Hello. Oh, okay. Now, now the names is just going nuts. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Give a thumbs up. If you have not done so, back out of the live to give a thumbs up. How's everybody doing? I hope y'all are having a great day today. We got a fish fry going on. Fish fry at the Young's house. And at your house if you're cooking with me. Um, what's your name? Let me see. Do is it Dolce or Dos? <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right. My goodness. Rhonda Prelo, hello. Darlene and Boss Moss, hello. Priscilla Johnson, hello. Beverly, hello. Miss Karen, how you doing? Chocolate Drop, hello. Yanni K, hello. Nancy, hello. On the move, hello, how you doing? Ernestine and Mary. Ron Wilson, how you doing? Happy anniversary to Ron Wilson. Thank you for coming in and joining. Tell Kathy I said, happy anniversary. Dia Tammy, is that your name? Uh, Shirley is here. Hello, 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 hello. Jer what's your name? J uh, Jerry Maria, is that your name? Dallas King, hello. Charlotta, hello. Eula, you're welcome, Ron. Absolutely. Joyce H, hello. Do I don't know how to say that name. My goodness. I, I don't want to jack anybody's name up today. Listen, I hope y'all are having a great day today. Back out of the live to give a thumbs up. Jeannie Young's going to show you a good time today, and we're going to make some good food. It's a fish fry here at the Young's house. That's hard to say, fish fry. We're having a fish fry here at the Young's house. We're gonna have a fun time. Wanda, hello, Sue H says, hey Gina, excited about the new channel. Healthier eating is, my, is on my vision board. <laughs> okay, that we worked on a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Sue, that is great. How exciting. So that is what we're gonna be doing tonight. So tonight we're gonna set it up. Um, not quite sure if we'll have the name tonight, you know, um, but definitely I'm thinking like 95%, we're gonna have the name by this weekend, by Sunday, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> but tonight we are gonna make the channel and we are so excited. Jeannie Young's gonna have a new channel going on here. And it's going to be healthier foods healthier foods healthy everything 2023 is definitely the year to get healthy and in shape absolutely and it takes baby steps it's not going to happen overnight with anybody but we can i figure we can do it together as a family we can do it together you bet we can lady ma hello mary addison valencia how you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Miss Karen says, I'm excited about the Healthy Cooking Channel too. And I can't wait. Well, listen, y'all, listen, listen. Y'all, tell your family and friends. What's Jeannie Young always say? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know. Hey, tell the whole world about what Jeannie Young is about to do. We're about to get busy over here on this channel. Yes, we are. Healthy Foods is on the way. How is his finger? His finger is doing well. Thank you for asking. Um, he did show me like this part of his finger is really dark. And I told him, I said, I, I, I'm thinking that maybe it's bruised. 
you know, and the bruise was shining through from the inside. So he said, it's hurting. He's okay though, but it is straightening up. So when he takes off the brace, his finger, it looks like this now, instead of like this. Remember it was like this? So it's really about at a like 90% straight, but it still has a long way to go, a long way for healing. There, there is a little bit of pain. T. Marie, hello. Okay, so Latricia says, I did, I'll be like, oh, oh, you said I did. You said I'll be like, Miss Gina's channel is the best. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, 337 watching. Give a thumbs up, back out, give a thumbs up, and then come back in. Ty, hi, or, or, or that's not Ty, that's Toy. Hello, how you doing? Lizette, hello. Maureen Butler, hello, hello, hello. Shirley Clark, how you doing? Valencia says hello to Sonia. Sonia, how you doing today? Oh, you're having a granddaughter. Oh my goodness. Great, how nice. Donald, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Mike Hunt, how you doing? I like some, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh Mike says he likes unhealthy foods. My goodness. You like some unhealthy foods though, okay. Okay, so this person is reviews and says, hey, it's my first time on the live. Welcome in reviews. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. I don't always say the full name when I introduce someone. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming in and joining us. If you're new to this channel, please let everybody know that you're new. Just say, hey, I'm new. And so I can welcome you in such a way and the people in the background will also welcome you. Tasha X, how you doing? Your fruit pizza recipe came out just perfect. How many of y'all know about the fruit pizza? Yes, the fruit pizza, it's amazing. If y'all never seen it, take a look at the channel and see how I make my fruit pizza, it's amazing. I'm having a barbecue today. Oh man, that sounds good, Donald. How many of y'all are ready? Everybody ready? Is any and everybody ready? G What's your name, G Gilio Juan, welcome in. You do get to meet me right here on the live. How you doing today? Welcome in. Latika's here. How you doing? Okay, you said like 80%, 90. <laughs> okay, and then 10% junk food. Okay, I understand. Yo, I gotta take these off. I thought I was gonna wear them. I ain't wearing them. Mm -mm. Thank you. Okay, so now let me just ask a question. And my question is, who's gonna be cooking with me today? Are you frying fish with me today? Somebody in the background in the comment section, let me know if you're gonna be cooking with Jeannie Young today. If you are, give me a red heart and that'll let me know that you're cooking with me. I'm curious. Um, Dionya, I'm, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for coming in and joining. Tammy Raider, hello. Myra Graham, hello. Uh-oh, Latika says she's on her way. Latika is on her way. <laughs> I'm happy about the healthy food, says Denise. Okay, great. Faith, how you doing? Jonathan says, hey, Gina. First time live. Congratulations on a million subscribers. Thank you. Janetta, Janetta McCall, thank you, uh, McConnell. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Okay, so Thomas says, I have a ribeye steak for supper. That sounds absolutely amazing. I see in some people in here in the chat that's gonna be cooking with me today. This is great. All right, so let me, cook, let me turn on the live and we can get started. Let's turn the live on and see what Jeannie Young is up to. I love fish and it sounds yummy. Lenny, welcome in. Okay, go ahead and take this over there and plug it up, please. Just watching, okay. 
It's been a while, Gina. Internet problems. You look great. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Plug that in. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to cook on the large stove behind me. The reason why is because I have a favorite pan that I like to cook fish in. It's a huge pan. It's like a 14-inch pan, right? And um, so it has a large circumference. So with that pan being so large, it's just not going to work for the burner that I have that's facing towards you all. So, but it's okay because we're going to have the cameraman walk over with us when we put the fish on and when we take it out and when we check on it, okay? Let's go, says Pebbles. Okay, the kitchen is my favorite place to be. It's my favorite place as well. Hello, Gina and everyone in the chat. Again, congratulations. Thank you, uh, Robert. Drew, how you doing? Welcome back in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Derek Eads, how you doing? Everyone saying hello to Drew. Okay, let me pull this down so I can check on and make sure I got putting my apron on right. I think I'll put it right there. Hope y'all are having a good day today. Hey, listen, let's get to cooking, Gina, says Donna. We about to. Now, um, we might, don't quote me, but we might go outside after we cook. After we cook, if it's not too hot, I know that we got some great weather out there, but then again, I don't want to be, you know, like, sunbathing in the sun and, and it's 80 something degrees out there so if i can find a nice spot in the shade when we're done cooking and it's time to eat we can go outside out back okay if that sounds good let me know that sounds good i'm i'm flipping the camera y'all oh but i do need to put my microphone on so you can hear me once i walk far away from the camera <laughs> he said drew i'm getting you one Oh, that is so funny. That always tickles me. That's funny. It is a beautiful day outside, right? I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope your weather is nice. All right, I'm putting the microphone on. Don't nobody freak out because the sound will leave just for a second, but the sound's going to come right back. I think that's on 24, yeah. Make sure y'all wash your hands. Get your hands nice and clean. Is 67 there? Okay. Y'all, I think it's in the 80s here. Don't quote me. I really don't know. I haven't looked into it, but it's nice out. Okay, got the mic on. It's 81 there. Oh, wow. Okay, let's flip it around. Let's get started. Time to fry some fish and have a good time. It's 71 in Baltimore, and it's a beautiful breeze. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to be cooking orange roughy fish. Any kind of fish that you all wanted to cook would be just fine, okay? And I mentioned that in the community post that any kind of fish that you want to use today will be fine because i know not everybody do we not have another hot sauce to come i know that not everybody can find orange roughy okay so let me wash my hands and we're going to get started i'm happy to be here y'all happy to be here i tell you what i'm most excited for tonight to get the new channel up and going we're gonna get it up and going it's gonna be exciting. It's actually, oh, he's, okay, so Derek says it's actually 82 there in Illinois, okay? The mic isn't on, Gina. I, I don't know about that. I don't know, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that. Is the mic on, y'all? What? Turn off what? Oh, okay. The microphone 
microphone's on. I can hear myself. Hold on, let me let me look at it again. He said the microphone is not on. See what the number is. See what the number is. I can hear you, I can hear you, I can hear you. Okay, you sound, you sound, dog man says you sound far away. Uh, remember I told you not to do that because when I come over there. Okay, so I got sound there. You sound far away. Check on the, uh, the number. Switch the number. Switch. You do sound far away. Switch the number from 24 to another number and see what we get. Do we have it on 16 at one point in time? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yeah, we do. Let's try it. Okay. So now we have changed the number of the sound. Somebody let me know. Uh, let me know how you can hear me, y'all. It's better now, Gina, says Drew. Okay. It's on 18. It just sounds like the phone mic. You sound better. Marie says better. Okay. Yes, I did, Derek. I discussed us going to do a new channel. We're absolutely going to keep this channel. Right? We're going to do what we do and what we've always done here on this channel. But we're also going to create a new channel for healthier foods because just, excuse me, just to be honest, the world wants healthy, delicious food. I'm going to bring it to you. Sounds great. Thank you. Okay. 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 So now. You're going to need some yellow cornmeal. I know there's going to be somebody out there right now. I know you're out there. You're going to ask me, can you use white cornmeal? Absolutely you can. It's not something that I use because I don't want that color. I want the color of the yellow cornmeal that's going to make it absolutely beautiful. That's the reason why I like to use the yellow. You need to fix that light over there too. I have some tartar sauce in case I decide that I want to make a fish sandwich, just in case, you know. And we got some spices. We have Old Bay seasoning, black pepper, salt, and I have the parsley flakes out just to dust the uh, fish when the fish is done, okay? So that's our spices that we're going to be using. And then we got our good old fish. I got some lemon because I like to squeeze lemon on my fish. Look at that beautiful pieces that we have here. So now I've already washed my hands. The first thing that I want to do is I want to cut down the pieces of the fish because I don't want to fry big huge pieces. We like, to, we like for everybody to have a piece, you know, maybe about four or five inches long. We don't want everybody to have a piece of fish like this. So you cut it in half and you can make more, okay? Yes, I'm going to get much busier, but I don't mind. I tell you one thing, um, what I always like to say, hard work will always pay off. Hard work will always pay off. You know, and so I'm, I'm definitely um, in my family as well, my husband. Um, we're definitely people that don't mind staying busy and working hard. Fish fry, yes. Flounder is one of your favorites. Okay, the fish. It does. It looks beautiful, right? Okay, so where? Here it is. I got some scissors. Since I got huge pieces here, I'm going to cut them babies. Nice, clean kitchen shears. That's the size that I want my pieces. Now, if at any time your uh, fish is really wet, from thawing out because my fish that I purchased today, it was frozen and we had to thaw it out. So that kind of makes your fish really wet. But what can you do? Well, you can take a hand towel or a paper towel and you can blot it just a little bit just to get rid of some of that um, water so that your fish can be nice and crispy. Okay, look at that. That's the perfect size. I don't need to cut that one. Everybody doing okay here? Mar Maria says, I, I love fish. Fit, fish fry here at the Young's house. 
We're going to have a fun time doing it. Oh, and we eating good tonight. I tell y'all what, Sonia the other day, she made spaghetti. When we did spaghetti, she made spaghetti and she fried fish and it was gorgeous. My goodness. Oh, wait. Beth says, I love some white and I'm so lazy. I'd rather just buy mine. In fact, I go to the restaurant near me to get some whiting all the time and it's delicious. Oh, Beth, okay, that's great. It's great that you can find your local restaurant and you enjoy it. You know, but Jeannie Young likes to say, once you find out how to make it yourself, you're gonna enjoy it even more. You're gonna say, my goodness, I've been going to that restaurant all this time. I made it one time at home and it was better than I ever tasted. That's what you say, I promise, I promise. You're gonna say, man, I've been spending all that money on that restaurant. You know, say when I cooked it at home, it was delicious. Because what I, what I like about making things yourself, you know that your hands are clean. You know you ain't been scratching in unknown places and then cooking the food. You know, we, when, when we go out to eat, we don't know who's scratching. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know who's itching and scratching and tugging and not washing their hands. But when you cook it at home, you know your hands are clean, you know the environment, you can season it like you want. The restaurant might not season it. They might batter it and fry it. But then you season it at home and you say, man, it's so much better. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to rinse this off. I'm coming back. I'm not going too far, y'all. Of course you are. But when you bite down into the fish, you're going to really be able to taste these amazing spices that we put on. And one of the amazing spices is my uh, Obey seafood seasoning, salt and pepper. That's all you need. That's all you need. So now that we have this here, let's bring our fish into the equation. Okay? Just like so in this manner. And I'm going to take this... Um, Let's see, I don't know, my fish is not really wet. It's a little wet. Let me get a paper towel, I'll be right back. So I can use white cornmeal as well? Yes, you can. You can use white cornmeal. Absolutely. You see what I'm doing with the paper towel? I'm just blotting 
blotting it just by a little bit. Flip it over, get the water that's in the bottom, okay? You don't want this to be too wet because it'll mess up your breading if it's too wet and then it won't get crispy, okay? It'll have some, like a funky texture to it if you don't take the time to blot it dry just a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely dry, okay? <clears throat> there we go. Now we can season. Going in with the old bag, don't be shy. Don't you be shy when it's time to season. Old Bay has amazing flavors in it. It's gonna really season up your fish. You bet it is. Mm. <laughs> Woo, this is exciting. And then what I'm gonna do after we season, I'm gonna show you how much oil that you're gonna need to fry your fish. We're not deep frying it. Now, if you want to deep fry the fish, absolutely you can. What's the difference of deep frying and just shallow frying it? Well, shallow frying, if I can show you my pan here, shallow frying is just a little tiny bit of oil. Can you all see that? It's not a whole lot, just a little bit. That's all you're gonna need. You see how big this is a 14 inch pan? I'm gonna be able to put a nice amount of fish into this pan. And then when that's done, I'm going to put another batch on. I probably have to do maybe two batches, okay? We got it seasoned with our Old Bay. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the Old Bay on. Get some great seasoning in there. Beautiful. And then we're going to put some salt. Be careful with your salt. And if you don't want to use salt, that's fine, okay? Let, you can let your loved one season it their self if, if, if you need to. Okay, I totally understand when it comes to salt, there's a lot of people that needs to back up off of it, and that's okay. There we go, look at that. Oh, wait, girl. <laughs> Woo, we gotta have some good eating here. All right, fish is seasoned. Now, we need black pepper. Get that antioxidant on there and that hint of spice. You're gonna be able to taste that spice in the back of your palate. All right, just like so. And then I'll, I'll look up and look at some of the messages to see what you all are talking about. If at any time you all have a really important question and you need help, put a stop sign in the comment section and hopefully I can read your message. Look at that. Now, this is what I call well-seasoned fish, okay? Y'all see that? The fish is seasoned well. Yes, it is. So now, at this point, go ahead and turn your burner on for your fish, and I don't want you guys to jack it up to the skies. Don't turn it up too high. How about we cook it on like a medium, okay? A little towards medium high, but not on medium high. I don't want for my fish to cook up so fast where the outside gets too dark and the inside's not done. Okay, so that's why I like to say medium, a little over medium, okay? You, you understand. All right, so I'm turning the burner on. All right, I'm going to take a drink of my zero sugar Snapple. And the flavor is a peach tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Shell Cook, how you doing? Good question, Nancy. Okay, what is Nancy's question? What other fish does orange ruffy taste like? Oh my goodness. Um, okay. It is a great question. I don't know if I can answer this question, Nancy. Here's what I'll do for Nancy. I want to describe what the fish tastes like. I don't want to describe another fish that it tastes like, because that's a hard question. <laughs> I don't know if I can answer that. So, I'd like to say that this fish is a mild fish. It's flaky, okay? It, it is somewhat thick. You know, each piece is about this thick. Nice and flaky, it's moist, 
It's so flavorful. It has like a buttery flavor. Kind of reminds you, uh, I don't want to say what it reminds you of because then, you know, I could be wrong, but it's mild. It doesn't smell fishy. It has, the kind that I purchase has no bones. I can't promise you that the kind that you purchase is not going to have bones, but this fish has no bone. I, y'all, I love it. I can eat all this fish. I can, I can eat it all by myself. I'm not going to, but it's so delicious. You hear me like, just trust me when I tell you. So what my husband, y'all guess what? My husband cooked on the grill. My husband has never, I told y'all my husband don't cook. For the past two nights he's been cooking on the grill and the food was good. He made barbecue chicken. And yesterday he threw some sausages on the grill and I was all excited. I was jumping for joy. The food was so delicious. He made baked beans, he made corn on the cob and barbecue chicken and I lost it. I couldn't believe it. And he said this weekend he wants to throw some fish on the grill. I said, well you go on. I said, you go on with your bad self. With your bad self. So I, I think that Gina Young might be rubbing off on him a little bit and he's interested in beginning to learn how to grill. So this is exciting. Hello, my holy king, how you doing? Derek Eads is cracking up right now. Okay, so I want to, uh, we got the burner on, the oil is not hot yet. What I'm going to suggest to you all, I don't suggest that you coat all of your fish right now. Coat what you're gonna fry, and then get it into the pan, okay? If you coat everything right now, let's just say your fish gets a little wet again. Well, if that happens, then this beautiful batter that we have here is gonna be soggy on the outside of your fish. So, coat the fish right before it goes into the pan. The fish that you're not gonna put into the pan, don't coat it yet, okay? And really, it's that simple. Okay, so everybody take a look down, take a look down at the fish. And we're gonna go ahead and dredge that baby. Look at this. Look how easily it's done. Like this part right here, get the kids in to help you. They would totally love it. And all you need is a light dusting of the yellow cornmeal, and then you always give it a nice shake off. Well, let's talk about what's the purpose for shaking the fish like this before it goes into the uh, fryer. <clears throat> well, the purpose for shaking the fish off is that you want to shake off the excess cornmeal because the excess cornmeal will go to the bottom of your pan and it'll burn. So if you take the time to shake it off just like so, you're going to have less cornmeal that falls to the bottom of the pan and burns. Okay, and honestly, it's that simple. So I feel like my pan can take about five pieces. So I'm going to dredge just five pieces and I'm going to put it in there. And when I put it into my pan, I, I, I'm not going to bother it. If you bother it, you will disturb the beautiful crust that's trying to form. It's going to fall off and you'll have a crustless fish. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. I know, but you know what I'm saying? Don't go and bother the fish. You will literally see a golden brown ring towards the bottom of the fish. And that's your indication to flip it over, okay? Once you start to see, or, or you can take a fork at some point, lift it up a little bit. When you see that it's golden brown, then you flip it over. But until then, don't, don't bother, okay? All right, so we're dredging our fish up just like so in this manner. I don't know if they can see that. And then we're going to make our way over to the larger stove and start to fry in our oil should be nice and hot. Look how simple this is. Oh wait, I'm telling y'all, we're making fish here at the Young's house. We're having a fun time, y'all. Fish is on the menu. Fish is on the menu. Make you some. You'd be happy you tried this recipe. So let's start off, like I said, with four to five pieces. And, you know, I'm not going to rush the process. Fish doesn't take forever and a day to cook. And it definitely doesn't take as long as chicken takes to cook you know chicken chicken can sometimes take a long time to cook 
That's not the case when it comes to fish. So now I'm gonna check in on my oil and see if it's hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of this cornmeal into my oil, just like so. If it sizzles right away, my oil's nice and hot. But if I see that yellow cornmeal go to the bottom of the pan, guess what? I'm not putting anything in because the oil's not hot enough. If you ever fry something and your oil is not hot enough, what's gonna happen is whatever you're frying is gonna be real greasy and kind of funky. Okay, excuse me. So I'm gonna take this over to my oil and I'm gonna check it really quick. Where is Mildred? I don't know. Okay, we got some hot oil. If the cameraman will come over here, that would be great. And let's show the people the fish going in. This is exciting. At any time, feel free to get started on your french fries. If you're gonna fry them, you know how to fry them. If you're gonna throw them in the oven, go ahead and get them into the oven. And let's just say your french fries get done before your fish. It's okay, you can just always um, put them in the oven on a really, really low heat so that they stay nice and warm. That's what I'm gonna do if my fries get done before everything else. So now, give it a nice shake off, just like so, into the hot oil. That sizzle, anybody out there see and hear that sizzle? You gotta see it, you gotta hear it. If you don't, your oil's not hot enough. I know a lot of times when I'm talking to you guys, I will purposely repeat myself just to let you know how important it is, you know, for whatever I'm talking about, okay? Shake it, it's sizzling, it's bubbling. I couldn't be more excited, y'all, all right? And, and don't bother it, once it's in the pan, you see I told you I could fit about five pieces and that's exactly what I can fit in there. All right, so now I got this on a medium, maybe a little bit higher than medium. Don't cook it on low, okay? Just a little bit higher than medium, all right? And now as far as this, let it be, <laughs> let it be. Now, let's just say you go to fry the rest of your fish. And you think, oh man, now there's water back in my pan again because the water naturally will come from the fish. Take a paper towel, even though you've seasoned it, it's okay. Take a paper towel and blot the water out the pan or off of the fish, it's gonna be okay, no worries. I'm gonna go ahead and get a cookie sheet. I'm gonna put my french fries into my preheated oven, all right? What kind of oil are you using, sis, in this? Um, I am using vegetable oil. You can use a um, peanut oil, as long as you are not allergic to peanuts, <laughs> okay? Any kind of oil that you want to use, but I do not suggest using olive oil to fry, okay? Because olive oil will burn at a high temperature. Vegetable oil, you can turn it up on high. You don't have to worry about it burning. I've seen people using uh, grapeseed oil, and I hear that it's delicious. You ever grill out fish on the grill before? That's what my husband said that he's going to do this weekend. So he's really excited. He's going to be grilling fish on the grill. Okay, so um, that's what he's going to do. Now, you can take fish. You can put it in aluminum foil packets and cook it that way if you'd like. And then also there's a, uh, I don't know if I want to call it a device, but there's a thing where you can put the fish in it. It's almost like... Um, uh, a cooling rack, almost, but it's not. You put the fish in it, season it, put your lemon on it, and then it has a, a piece that goes on the top. And you can just flip the whole thing. And that way your fish does not fall through the grids of the grill. But the way I think we're gonna do it, we're gonna put aluminum foil on top, and then we're gonna put our fish on there and grill it. Yes, you said, all right. <laughs> all right, so let me get my french fries out. Get, let's get our french fries going. 355 degrees. 
crease. <clears throat> you make sure that camera is showing what I'm doing. Okay, everybody. I here at the Young's house, I love to use the crinkle cut French fries. I do. And, and you know, I, I get feedback from people asking me, Gina, do you ever make French fries where you peel and cut your own potatoes? I have, I used to, but just to be honest, this is so simple. <laughs> it's already ready for me. Are you kidding me? That's for me because we are busy here at the Young South. You know, and sometimes I'm turning the heat down a little bit because I can hear that the oil is really, really sizzling. So I turned mine down a little bit. Um, Pre-cut french fries is what I love to use. They never let me down and they've never been disgusting, right? Ron said, definitely not today. No marinating fish today. No. Nope. Prime time, how you doing? <laughs> everybody, <laughs> I, I got everybody calling uh, Deion Sanders prime time. Y'all, I love Deion Sanders. Yes, I do. I love my Deion Sanders. It's on here, but the real prime time, I, I love it. <laughs> Drew, how you doing today? Dog Man said nothing wrong with making homemade french fries. Oh, I know. Now, like I said, let's get back to that. I love homemade french fries. I really do. Uh, yes, I do. Um, but sometimes I ain't got time for it, you know? And so I think we need a little bit. You think we need more french fries than that, Dakota? Yes. Oh, he said yes. The entire bag. No, we ain't about to make this whole bag. I know you kidding me. I can't get you one, Drew. I don't know where you're going to find one at. I don't know where you're going to find one. <laughs> I think that's definitely enough fries. No, it's not. Hold on, y'all. You can hear the fish sizzling. My goodness. Oh, yeah, the fish is sizzling. Keep an eye on it. Don't go bothering it right now. This is going into my oven. And I'm also going to make some frozen shrimp. Um, I'm going to decide to, there's a french fry on the floor if you'll pick it up for me. It, it's over that way. Um, thank you. Um, I'm going to use the same oil that I fried the fish with and uh, fry up some shrimp as well. I'm gone. So everything's smelling great. I'll be right back y'all. Right back. We had to turn the air on today. It's so nice out. So the air is on here at the Young's house. My goodness. All right. Shirley Clark, how you doing? <laughs> or a Raider fry? Beverly, what's a Raider fry? joining us today. Um, it's okay that you have to go. What kind of fish is Gina cooking prime time? Gina is cooking in, guess what I was getting ready to say? My goodness, Gina is cooking in the kitchen with Gina Young Fish. That's so weird because my mouth was getting ready to say that. I'm cooking, I'm cooking orange roughy. <laughs> You got your AC on, Bama Girl, yep. Hey, what's the name of the fries? The fries are, let me see. Let me see. Uh, what's the name 
of my fries, y'all. Oh, they are Orida. I, I, I think that's how you pronounce them. Orida or Orida. It, it's really hard for me to pronounce it. Or I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Orida or Orida. I love orange ruffany, uh, says Reginald. I think I'm going to have steak fries. Steak fries are absolutely amazing. I love how meaty they are. I think it's the perfect name for those fries because they are so thick cut. And they would go perfect. It's like, it's like eating meat. It's so thick. Can you tell me how to make fish in my air fryer? Uh, yes, I can. You can season up your fish. And you can put it in the yellow cornmeal, just like we're doing today. Throw it in your air fryer. I'm not a professional with the air fryer. Okay? Um, and since I'm not, I can't tell you what temperature or what setting to put it on. But you cook it until it has that beautiful golden brown fried fish color. Okay? So now you don't even have to use a breading if you didn't want to. Season it. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, Old Bay seasoning. Throw a lemon on top and a pat of butter. Throw that baby into the air fryer and I promise you it would be delicious. I don't use the air fryer though, y'all. Or Orida. It, it's so hard for me to say that. Oh, you're gonna turn it on when it hits the 80s, uh-huh. Does that fish have a Grammy? Taste like catfish? Uh, y'all listen, I don't want, I don't like catfish. I don't like catfish and I don't like perch. They are really fishy to me and they kind of, uh, I don't know. And then after having catfish for pets here, y'all know we had a tank that was around that way. We had two catfish, they were this big and they're bottom feeders. And just watching that catfish, I said, ne I will never. But I know, I know it's nuts. But before we had those catfish, I didn't really like the flavor or perch, but my husband loves perch. You don't like, oh, Derek says he don't like catfish. Okay, Sheena says I'm an OG. Oh, you're 67, okay. You like whiting. I love, y'all, I love whiting. I grew up on whiting. I love whiting. Oh, southern folks love catfish. Okay. And see, I'm not southern. A lot of people think that I am, but I'm not. <laughs> so, okay, I can agree with that. I, no, I like red snapper. Red snapper is really up my alley. I love it. A walleye. I can remember having walleye when I was younger. I just can't remember the taste. Whiting, I love the whiting, and I like the skin on the whiting. Okay, so let's take a peek in. If the camera can come in, let's go check on our fish. We'll do it together. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Okay, so I'm taking a peek in at it. And remember, I didn't bother it. We, we, we didn't bother it because we don't want to... Uh, scoot the camera back. We don't want to bother this beautiful crust that's beginning to form. So we're just going to be nice and gently. Okay, I'm going to go in from this way if I can, if at all possible. And I want to see what it looks like. What you looking like? Oh. And you know what? Actually, that could have cooked a little bit longer. You see we have, let the camera come in real close, just real quick for it. Okay? Over here on this one. Y'all see that? Gorgeous. But it could have cooked a little bit longer. So now, Gina, how do you know it could have cooked a little bit longer? Well, we, I, I want you all to really think about the color of fish when it's fried. So when I looked at that piece, I thought, yes, it's golden brown. Yes, it's crispy, but it could be a little bit darker. So what I'll wind up doing with that piece is I'll flip it back over so we can get that perfect color that we're looking for. Okay, so these pieces right here, I'm not gonna bother. Not even gonna bother it for now, okay? Get your fries cooking. If you're cooking them in the oven like I am, 
or if you're making them in the oil, you're going to get another pan of oil, or you can even use the same oil that you're frying in, okay? Now, are you sure we don't have hot sauce? Okay. Uh-uh. Yo, I am, I can't believe we don't have hot sauce. Uh-uh. Go look in the pantry. We got that pig. You know we got hot sauce. Go see. Go back there in the pantry. Y'all, listen, I'm going to bet him that we got hot sauce. That's not fair. But he, he going to lie. She cheat. This is our son, y'all. This is our 14-year-old son, 14 year old son I'm talking to. I know we have hot sauce, and he told me we ain't got none. I just don't believe it. Looks yummy, Gina. Thank you, Sharon. My goodness. And yo, you know what else I'm looking for? I'm looking to see if we got malt vinegar. There is nothing like malt vinegar on fish is astonishing. I don't know if that's the word that I'm looking for. But malt vinegar on fish, oh, wait, I love it. <laughs> Y'all, these cabinets is so embarrassing. I got so many spices, I don't know what to do with them. You see them jumping out the cabinet at me. <laughs> Lynette, Gina is frying orange roughy. Okay. Lynette, yes, I'm frying orange roughy. Love the shirt, and last week, you love the shirt, and last week, I'm a Leo. Okay. <laughs> you love malt vinegar on your fish. See, I like, okay, so I like malt vinegar on my fish, hot sauce, and then I also like lemon. So I took out some lemon, because I'm going to squeeze some lemon on my fish, y'all. I am. You came back with no hot sauce. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Oh, hold on, y'all. I don't believe it. Have y'all ever sent your kids? Have y'all ever sent your kids somewhere? I know that was a good bottle. Uh, what you mean you didn't know this was a good bottle? I've seen it. I didn't know it was a good bottle. Have y'all ever sent your kids out to, to look for something or find something that you know you have, and they come back and say that they couldn't find it? Y'all, look what I just found. Look what I just found. He said he didn't know if the bottle was good. It, it ain't that. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. They said stop, Dakota. They said stop, Dakota. Christopher, I fried some for me and my daughter last Saturday. It was so good. I used a deep fryer outside. I don't like the smell of fish inside my house. Oh, wow, yeah. What, what do you like on your pizza? You like, um, are you saying you like, um, uh, what's the fish on the pizza, y'all? Anchovies. A whole bottle. Yeah, anchovies? I, I'm definitely somebody that likes anchovies. I don't order it because my family don't like it. But if I were to order a pizza for myself, I would say I want the works. Okay. A little bit of anchovies. Y'all, listen. Mm. Oh, you never had it. Smoke herring is terrible. I've never had it. Okay, we got to check on our fish again. Come on, y'all. Got to check in on this fish. Come on over here. I'm going to go ahead and begin flipping it, okay? All right, be gentle. Flip it away from you, if at all possible. When you flip it away from you, um, you prevent yourself from getting burned. Okay? Look at that. Gorgeous. Sometimes you'll have that come out in the fish. Don't worry about that. Okay? Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, wait. Girl, you're really on the roll right now. So I feel like I have some room here. I'm going to go ahead and take one piece. A fish, I'm gonna dredge it and throw it in there, okay? So we can get this fish cooking up. Cooking fish here at the Young's house, y'all. Okay, somebody says, pineapple on pe Oh, man, you have, listen, I like, I, I'm, I'm one of those people. I enjoy the pineapple on my pizza. I enjoy the pine, so if I were to get 
Great topics, y'all. Think of some good topics and write them down so when we do these lives, we can have good conversations like we're doing now. Um, I'm one of those people that like pineapple on my pizza. So if I were to order my pizza with pineapple, I would tell them that I want cheese, ham and pepperoni, pineapple and onions. Oh, it would be just a match made in heaven. Talk about delicious. For some reason, is there anybody out there that agrees with me? When the pizza place makes your pizza and they put onions on it, how come the onions are so sweet? Oh, the onions are so sweet and I love them. Yes. Oh, I also like black olives. Black olives on my works pizza. That's definitely for me. I love it. Okay, so let, have you ever made it like pizza cake? See, I don't know what that is. I'm willing to try it, says so Susie Q. No pineapple on your pizza, says Miss B. I agree with you. Just add bacon and we're good to go. Ooh, bake, bacon. Bacon sounds good. Pepperoni, pineapple, and a garlic crust. It sounds good. You like black olives too. I do too. I like the black olives. Uh, I think it really... It, it really alters the flavor of the pizza. I, now, and like I told y'all, when it comes to pizza, I'm not one of those people <clears throat> that want my pizza to be hot and bubbly when I get it. I'm okay with it being a little cooled down. So sometimes I will take the pieces of pizza that I'm going to eat I will take my pizza, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit in there for about 45 minutes, then I can enjoy my pizza. I like cold pizza. I know right now there's somebody out there saying, what are you, are you serious? Yeah, I love my pizza to be cold. I like cold fried chicken. I do, I do, I could be a little nuts. I do. Ty, how you doing? Welcome in. Now, little bit, little bit says yellow squash pie. Yellow squash pie, absolutely amazing. I love anything yellow squash. Uh oh, uh, Julio, it's either Julio or Julio says, y'all gotta be nuts if you think pineapple don't belong on pizza. <laughs> seasonings off, I'm just going to re-season it, okay? That's all. That's all you do. When you see that water beginning to form at the bottom of whatever, you know, you have your fish setting on, just blot it up, okay? No worries. Don't make that a worry where you freak out or anything, okay? They need to see this. Okay. Beautiful. Now, it's not soaking wet. Now, we're getting ready to have some fish coming out of that fryer very soon. Chicago deep dish pizza is a pizza cake. Oh, <laughs> I do consider that to be a pizza cake, right? Because <laughs> it is. It's deep. I, no, I, wouldn't put, I wouldn't put that on there. You like catfish, so can I use the seasonings you're using today? Absolutely do. Um, yes, you can. Use the seasonings that we use today, no matter what kind of fish. You can use those seasonings, okay? So it doesn't matter what kind of fish you're making. Use these seasonings. It's always going to be delicious. You could even use some garlic powder if you want it to. Um, now my purpose for not using garlic powder today is because I used such a fancy, flavorful spice today, which was our uh, seafood seasoning, which is the Old Bay seasoning. I feel like it has so many amazing seasonings. That's why the other seasonings were just uh, salt and pepper. Yes, I know. This would be great with spaghetti. I know. No, listen, people from the South. Uh, like I told you, I didn't grow up in the South. Uh, people from the South, they make spaghetti and fish together. 
Now, how I grew up, we always would have spaghetti, garlic bread, and a salad. Never ever fish, right? And I know that's so interesting to me when I see people saying fishing. I've never had the two together, never ever. Never had the two together, spaghetti and fish, but I know you all love it. A uh, uh, oxtail pizza, what the what? Okay, Gina, uh, you like, have you ever made fish shrimp tacos before? Yes, I made fish tacos. They were absolutely stunning. I made shrimp and fish tacos, stunning. And so easy to make. Like, listen, you can take like a fish that we're doing today, throw it on your corn tortilla or your soft flour tortilla that has been heated, of course, and whatever toppings that you love, okay? Me personally, when I feel like you're having a seafood taco, whether that's shrimp or fish, or even scallops. I don't want to put too many toppings on. I may go for some fresh crispy lettuce, maybe uh, like an aioli or something on top, um, tartar sauce, but that's it. I don't want to ruin the flavor of the seafood. I think that there's going to be a lot of people out there that would do tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, cheese, and then I say, see, I, I don't want that kind of taco. Not when it's seafood. <laughs> You're from the north, okay? You're late to the party, it's okay. As long as you're not cooking with me, it's okay. You never even thought of that. How about fish and rice? Fish and rice, yes. Fish and rice, for sure. Yes, I wanna check in on my fish here. Oh yeah, now, if the cameraman can come in and show the people what we got going on, we got some stuff going on here. Getting some gorgeous colors, okay? So now, these are the colors that I'm looking for when I think about the perfect fish fry. Look at that one. Look at that color that's beginning to form, look. That's what I'm looking for. Go, go in close, but then come out quickly. Yes, that's what we're looking for, y'all. Okay, and then I have that one in there, of course, that I just began to fry. We got french fries in the oven. I'm gonna fry some shrimp uh, after our fish is all done. We're gonna say an amazing prayer and then we're gonna chat for the rest of the evening. Now, listen, y'all. I don't know about that, Derek. I don't believe you for one second. He said sardine tacos. Don't, don't believe it, y'all. Don't you dare believe it. <laughs> oh, yes, Valencia says, I love, y'all, do y'all want me to do a fish and shrimp taco? Oh, you're allergic to shellfish. My goodness. Golden goodness. Gina, you ever hold a, heard of golden Ellie? Uh, I don't know. What is that? Thank you for the hearts going up, y'all. I love when you do that. You had fish, rice, melted. You had, okay, so Carolyn says, I had fish, rice, melted butter sauce. I tell you what, that sounds good. I don't even know what the melted butter sauce is, but it sure sounds good. I know, Derek, you and your sardine tacos. Uh-huh, that's what Sonia said. Gina. <laughs> Miss Gina makes a mean sardine. Uh-uh, no, I don't. Don't believe them, y'all. <laughs> hey, we got some trolls in here today. <laughs> you like butterfish. Never heard of it. Drew says, Derek, have you ever had Maryland-style jumbo love crab cakes? Um, I, I have not actually had them from Maryland. It's something I would love to taste just one time so I could say that I tasted it. Or like the, the, the real New England clam chowder. I'm a sucker for clam chowder. I love clams. Do you ever try catfish? I don't because I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. All right, Dakota, reach under there and please get me um, the uh, cooling rack with possibly 
another, do I have another one of these? I, I got another one. Or even my white thing. You could use my white thing, but I would really prefer um, a cookie sheet. Our fish is doing well. I want you all to check on your, check on your fish, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and turn the oven up. I'm going to change the temperature to my oven. Make it a little bit higher so I can make sure my fries are getting done. Oh, we're getting some gold brown color. So I turned my fries up to 400 degrees. Okay? So that's what I did. You don't have to do that, but, you know, if you want to, you can. Okay, you got that? Yeah. This is my, uh oh, sorry. Thank you. This is my cooling rack. It's going to allow the oil to drain once I put my fish onto here. And that way my fish will not be sitting in oil. If you don't have one of these, well, you can just set it onto a paper towel to soak up that oil. You, you don't want oily fish, okay? So take your time to drain it. Use a cooling rack. Set it onto a paper towel just like so. All right? Thank you, Sonia. She says, check on your food, yo. Oh, Derek, I don't know when the last time I have seen Captain D's. I grew up on Captain D's, loved it. I mean, totally loved it. I love their hush puppies. Love everything that they have, their fish, their chicken. Oh my goodness. I would, y'all know what I would do for Captain D's right now. <laughs> I love it, but I ain't been able to find it. Char, I'm cooking um, orange roughy today. Thank you for coming in. You like salmon bass, tilapia? I'm not a fan of tilapia. They, you know, here's the thing. I feel like tilapia um, seems a little fishy. I'm not a fan of the fishy fish. Fishy fish. <laughs> I guess we'll say it that way. But then they say it's a bottom feeder and it's like a nasty fish. So I don't even buy it no more. It is true. Drew makes a good point. He says that the Captain D's is kind of like uh, Long Down Silvers. It is, but I, I, I think Captain D's has got Long Down Silvers built. Not built, beat. My goodness. Oh, you like their tartar sauce. Is their tartar sauce good? You made shrimp and grits and it was so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wait. See, like, how you doing? Where I am from, the catfish wasn't something we ate. A bottom feeder and it tastes like, yeah, no thanks. Uh-uh. I grew up on perch. Are you a fan? Miss Robinson, I'm not. My husband loves perch. He's a true fan of it. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I will make the perch for him. And season it just like I season mine, but then I'll make me some different kind of fish. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. It's too fishy for me. Oh, you make your own tartar sauce. That is amazing. So now tell me, are you using? I feel like for your tartar sauce, Ron, you let me know if this is what you're doing. Are you using mayonnaise, pickles, lemon juice, salt and pepper? and possibly some deal. Let me know if that's how you make yours. Oh, perch is good grilled, okay. I've only had Long John Silver's or Bubba Gump shrimp. Listen y'all, when we went um, to Bubba, we went to Bubba Gump's. There is a real Bubba Gump's seafood place. So we was either in, this was years ago. We was either at um, Cedar Point in Ohio, or it was Kings Island, and that was in Ohio. This was years ago. And when we walked up through the line, they had this person standing at the end of the line saying, welcome to Bubble Gups. But we got, <laughs> they did, we got um, so-and-so shrimp, we got fried shrimp, they did, we got coconut shrimp, we got this and that. And they were just saying all these names of all kinds of seafood that they had. I thought it was the cutest thing. And then we got up to the front 
and uh, we ordered our food and it was really good. So there is something really called bubble cups. Sloppy Joe's pot pie, little bit, that sounds good. It sounds good. I don't know how it would stand up, because Sloppy Joe's is sloppy. I don't know how it would stand up to the crust, if it would make crust soggy. I don't know about that one. Oh, I got a good piece of fish over here, y'all. Wee! That baby looking good right now. Okay. And listen, keep cooking it until you get the color that you want. Even though, like I like to tell you all, like I like to tell you all, when I cooked my uh, chicken the other day, even if your food is done, let's just say you cooked um, fish or chicken, but you didn't have the color that you were happy with. Well, you keep cooking it until you get that color, okay? Because sometimes my fish can uh, be at the appropriate temperature, which is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. But I might look at it and say, no, I want it a little bit more crispier. Or I want it a little bit more darker. So I let it continue to cook until it's that color that I'm looking for. So that's the case with our fish right now. The fish is done. Heck yeah, that fish is done. It's been done. But I'm looking for a perfect color. You see what I'm saying? So now your fish is most likely done, right? You understand that. Your fish is done, but you might like it lighter than I do. Or if you want it darker, keep cooking it until it gets that color you want, okay? I always like to throw options out there so y'all can understand. Yes, Sharon, the fruit pizza is good. All right, can the cameraman come in so we can show the people? Some of these pieces of fish coming out right now. Ooh, we got some good stuff happening right now. My goodness. Oh yes. Look at. Let's start off with this one. Look at that. Uh huh. Woo! Your girl didn't come. I didn't come to play. When I get in this kitchen, y'all, I didn't come to play. Oh my goodness. Come on over behind me. Come on over this way so the people can see. Mm, mm, mm. It and that's something. I'm going to show you how flaky and gorgeous this fish is. It smells so good. And Sonia, remember Sonia um, said, I think it's great that Sonia likes to cook her fish outside because she doesn't like the smell of fish. And we all can definitely understand that, right? Listen, I, Sonia, I promise you. Does my son have the camera so close in my face like this? But listen, I, I promise you, if you do the orange roughy, your house does not smell fishy, I promise. It doesn't. It doesn't. It smells like, um, you know, you're possibly making chicken, right? So you don't have to worry about that fishy smell when you're making orange roughy. So now let's place it in such a way because we got more fish to put on. Don't lay it on top of each other because guess what will happen? Oh, it'll begin to steam and uh, the pieces of fish will steam and get soggy, okay? So now what I'm going to do, the camera can go back that way. I'm going to uh, put some more fish in that oil. Just like so. Shake the, shake the fish off. I can smell the french fries. French fries are getting done. I'm going to need to pop something in my mouth, y'all. Guess what? I can feel my sugar is getting low. My sugar's getting low, so I'm going to grab something here in just a second. Uh, it's funny because I have this Snapple here, but it's sugar-free. <laughs> so by it being sugar-free, that's not what I need. Um, Dakota, if you can wash your hands, please, and grab me some type of fruit juice. I'm starting to feel kind of, kind of not like myself. <laughs> and that's what happens when your sugar drops. That's what happens when your sugar drops. And I tell you one thing, it ain't funny. Heck no, it ain't. All right, wash your hands. Give me a nice fruit juice. Whatever we have in there. If one is not open, just uh, give me whatever. 
And that'll bring my sugar back up, y'all. And if I don't do that, I'll be somewhere and I won't know my name. I won't know my name. I won't understand what's going on around me. I'll be on the floor somewhere, sweating. <laughs> you know, because we take medicines um, to keep your sugar low, but if you don't eat in enough time, it is possible that your sugar can drop. When your sugar drops, a lot of people have the, the medication that you can, it's like a candy, just pop it in your mouth and it brings your sugar up. Or sometimes they tell you to drink orange juice. And right away it'll bring your sugar back up. Okay? All right, that's good. What'd you give me? Grape juice? Yep. White peach grape juice or something like that? Yep. Okay. Peach grape juice. Okay, thank you. All right, nice shake. I'm going to drink something. All right. amazing. I love, love, love the taste. I love clams, first off, but they're really good. You can throw them babies in the oven, throw them in the fryer. They are so tantalizing. Is that? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know the right word to say, y'all, and I just be cracking myself up. Tantalizing. I didn't want to say that. receiving. I'm very happy with that. Y'all, I gotta taste this one. Mm, mm, mm. I won't taste it, but look, we got some good color going on. I'm happy with that. You hate the rubbery clams. Yeah, I know. I'm tasting one. I couldn't, I couldn't help myself, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I like hush puppies, but only if they taste good. I don't have a hush puppy recipe. 
I love hush puppies and I like when I see big chunks of corn in it or big chunks, not huge chunks of onion in it. I like when I see the ingredients inside the hush puppy. That's what really gets me excited. Yes, Robert says with a side of hush puppies, fries, malt vinegar, or tartar sauce. Oh yes, now, now we're talking, right? Now we are talking. Marie said, Marie says he was really surprised that the shark is good. I, I don't want it. I don't want it, y'all. I love scallops wrapped in bacon. Oh, my goodness. Talk about good. Yeah, yeah. Scallops is one of my favorite. Scallops is one of my favorite. If it's cooked right, I want a good sear on to it. I want it to be sweet, and I don't want the tiny ones. There's little ones like this. I want the big ones. Oh, man, you make me want some. Yes, you do. Oh, yes. So now my fries are pretty much done. I'm going to, let me see. So I'm just going to turn it, I'm going to turn my oven to 300, or, or not 300, 200 degrees, just so it can stay nice and warm, but it's not going to be cooking up at a high temperature, just to keep it nice and warm. Is it expensive, Gina? Tell, tell me what you're talking about. Malt vinegar is good on fish and fried chicken. And corn on the cob, what do you mean? <laughs> you threw me for a loop right there. <laughs> and good on corn on the cob, I don't know about that. I don't know about it being good on fish either. <laughs> I mean chicken. So I haven't, I don't believe I've had malt vinegar on chicken, but I sure like lemon on chicken. Cornmeal, buttermilk, sugar. Oh, is this the ingredients? Cornmeal, buttermilk, sugar, chopped onions, and hot sauce. Now, ooh, asparagus wrapped in bacon. So now, is that the ingredients for hush puppies? Is that, tell me if that's the ingredients for hush puppies. It does sound good, Sonia. Asparagus wrapped in bacon. I could do that recipe for y'all. Susie Q says, oh yes. Oh, you was, told, you was told that it cuts the greasy taste on fish. I tell y'all what, when I make my fish, and I just have to be honest, as long as you cook your fish in oil that's hot enough, it won't be greasy, it won't be oily, and I can promise you that. Shirley says, shark is a no-no for me. Uh, me too. <laughs> me too. I I for it. So y'all, I'm going to ask y'all something really funny when I come back around here. I'm going to ask you. I can put another piece of fish in here too. How many y'all? I, I want to see the comments. Did y'all enjoy the last short that I did? Did y'all enjoy the last short? Asparagus wrapped in bacon sounds good, says Dallas. It does, Dallas. Um, the last short that I did was um, the mama. I can't believe you said mama. The short uh, video, short form video, where I was the baby in the video. Let me know. Oh, Sonia says yes. <laughs> yes, I did, Gina, says Denise. Maria, yes. Yes, it was funny, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was hilarious. Y'all, y'all had me cracking up at your comments. Your comments had me laughing. And somebody had said, somebody said something. I can't remember exactly who it was. She said, I am on the floor. 
laughing at this video. I, and I responded back. I said, get off the floor. <laughs> I said, get off the floor. <laughs> it was fun though. It was so much fun. I enjoyed making that video. We all enjoyed making that video. We laughed about it before y'all got to see it, you know. Thank you all for giving a thumbs up. If you haven't given a thumbs up yet, back out. Back out, give a thumbs up, and then come back in. <laughs> Loretta, I don't know if you're going to. I don't know if you're going to. It's so funny because I, I was singing. What was I singing the other day? I was singing something. I feel like it was Mariah Carey. And I was singing... I'm going to check on my fish here in a second. And I hit that note, y'all. I hit that note, whatever it was that I was singing. So my husband was right here. I think Dakota was over there, and I was right here. And I said, boom, 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 whatever it was, I was singing it. And I, and, and I told y'all, I'm a loud singer. I sing very loud. So when I started singing it, my husband looked at me like this. He said, he said, I bet you won't do that on live. He said, I bet you won't. He said, I bet you won't do that on the live. I said, I'm not. I'm not. He said, you are a good singer. Why? Why won't you sing on your live? And I said, because I don't want to. <laughs> he said, I bet you won't hit that note like that on the live. I said, I'm not going to. And then I said, well, what are we going to bet? <laughs> then I said, well, 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 what's the bet first? Let, let, me, let me know what the bet is. <laughs> and then we can talk, maybe. <laughs> Oh, Shirley says, Gina, you really made my day. Listen, y'all. Y'all really made my day. Don't y'all know I stayed in the bed. I didn't sleep well last night at all. Y'all might be able to tell by my eyes um, being a little red. I didn't sleep well. Me and my husband, was, I felt like me and my husband were up half of the night. But I slept 
until 2.30 this afternoon. I did, well, we woke up this morning, early this morning, drank some coffee, had some nice breakfast, took the babies out, we sat outside this morning, it was beautiful out, and then I went back to bed, and then I didn't get up until 2.30 this afternoon. And then I said, I, I, I mean, it took everything in me to roll out the bed, get dressed for the life, but I'm happy to be here. And now that I'm here, I'm so happy. Y'all are making me so happy, just like Shirley Clark said. I'm so happy to be here with you all. Y'all changed my day around today. Just popping in at work and you're listening, kitty kitty. Welcome in. Thank you for coming and joining us today. We're making fish here at the Young's house. All right, come here, cameraman. Come on. Let's check on some fish. It's a fish day at the Young's house. We got a fish fry going on. Now, always, this is always going to happen to you. Your second batch is going to cook up faster than the first batch. It will because that oil right now is piping hot. You hear me? Oh, you hear me? All right, so now let's check it. Ooh, wait, girl, you something else over there. Girl, you are something else. Look at it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use that little tiny bit of oil that we have right there to uh, make a couple pieces of shrimp. Look at that. Ooh, that's dinner here at the Young's house. Take another look for the people that's just coming in at the gorgeous fish here. I can't wait to get down into it so you can see how flaky and crispy and how delicious it is at the same time. Like I said, I gave you all, bear with the camera, um, I gave you all a really great tip when I say, don't batter the fish until you're ready to fry it. So you see these two pieces here? I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm not throwing it into the cornmeal until it's ready to go into the pan because that cornmeal will soak up the water. It'll be soggy. You won't get a crispiness to your fish. Just let it sit like this with seasonings on it. Right before it goes into the pan, then you dredge it, throw it in the pan. So right now my oven is on very, 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 very low. So we can um, just keep the french fries warm. I don't want to continue to keep cooking them because they done. I'm going to grab out some cheese sauce. Where, do I still have cheese sauce to come? What are you doing with this? You plan on eating it? Huh? I thought we going to eat something. Oh, you're going to wash that. Now, uh, where's the cheese sauce that I had out the other day? Do we still have it? Go grab the cheese sauce out the pantry for me, please. Uh, yeah, go grab the cheese sauce and we can have cheese sauce for our, our dipper, for our fries. Hold on, y'all. I'm checking on this piece of fish here. Okay, it's not ready to be turned. And like I said, when you're cooking, make sure when you're cooking that you have the time to cook and you don't have to rush something. If there's one thing that I hate, is I hate to see people cooking, but yet they're in a rush. You know what I mean? If you're in a rush to cook, don't even cook. Right? You gotta have time. You gotta make time to cook, because sometimes you never know how long something's gonna take. If you got time and you're not rushing it, it's gonna taste better. It is. Okay, so I got cheese sauce. Thank you. How many more of these do I have in the pantry? Got like two more. So I'm going to order like three more of these to replace this one. Okay. We love cheese sauce here at the Young's House for, we keep these stocked in our pantry. This is like a nacho cheese sauce. After you open it, you can just pop it in the uh, refrigerator. Use it on chips. Use it on fries. Use it on whatever you want. This is something great to put into your pantry. Okay, he said yes, she can sing. One day she's going to surprise us for sure. Oh, y'all, my husband was so surprised and I hit that note. I hit that note the other day. He was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. He said, you can sing. He said, oh, you can sing. He said, you ain't going to do it on the live though, are you? I bet you won't. I said, I'm not. It's not, it's not really a bet because I'm not going to. <laughs> um, and then what's the song that I was singing? Hold, hold on, I'm going to think of the note that I hit. Hold on. Um, one of them was Whitney Houston's song. 
See if your dad's out there. I'm getting notifications in my pocket <laughs> about something in the camera, probably. What song was it? I can't. I can't. I, I can't even think of it right now. Oh, he says cheese sauce is good on fries. We dip our crispy fries into a dish of. I'm gonna warm it up. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm gonna Well, yeah, I guess I can warm it up if I can open it. There we go. I'm gonna warm it up. What was the song that I was singing? I, I can't think. I hate when I try to think of something. And I just really can't think of it, you know? It's like I do everything that I can to think of it, but it just doesn't come to my head. Well, like I'd like to tell y'all, my dad says, if you, if you can't remember it, it must not have been that important. My dad always told me that. And I, I live by that. <laughs> because if not, you'll go totally nuts trying to remember what you can't remember. <laughs> right? All right, we're going to turn some dog and some good color, y'all. I got the cheese sauce heating up. The french fries in the oven is done. We're going to be eating here at the oven's house very, very, very soon. Got the fish. Rushing food is awful. I love to enjoy and smell the aroma of my food. I love a beautiful presentation. Yes, you're my, yes. Yes, Sonia, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, baby. Woo, thank you. Hold on, y'all. I'm still here. I ain't going too far from you. Okay. Okay, you're saying Whitney's, I will always love you. I didn't think of what song it was, my goodness. Because right in the beginning, oh, this is nice and hot. Right in the beginning, there's like a high note. And I said, you with that note, right? I just, I took that note out of my pocket and I threw it across the room. Wait, so when I, when I sit down and I come in front of you all and we talk, I might be, I'll be able to Google it and find out what that note was that I was singing and find out what song it was. But right now I can't. I don't like to grab my phone when I'm cooking because when you grab your phone, believe it or not, and a lot of people don't know, the phone has bacteria on it, you know? So if at all possible, sometimes you'll see me grab it, but then you'll also see me wash my hands after grabbing it, you know? That's why I said when I come around there, I'll look it up. Oh, okay, Derek. <laughs> uh-uh, Ron Wilson, ain't no way. <laughs> if it was Patti LaBelle, it would definitely have to be uh, the one uh, that she sang with Michael, M Michael McDonald. Uh, I can't think of the song name, but y'all know it. Oh, wow. On my own. <laughs>
Right? Like we all have to admit it. There's something in McDonald's that you like. But they've given it to you cold or old. I told him, I said, now, if you get to the line, can you say, can you make it fresh? These are so fresh, y'all. They are so fresh and so delicious. Doobie Brothers and Michael McDonald. See, I don't know about that. Right? It, it's so stunning. All right? So that's the last of my fish going in. All right? And I got, I only got three pieces of fish to cook. And so I'm going to begin to think about putting my shrimp in. Yeah. 
I just put the shrimp in that shallow oil. It's gonna cook up nice and beautiful. So now take a look, y'all. Here's the thing, clean up after yourself. Clean up, go up, go along the, go along so they can see, oh yeah, <laughs> Gina Young here, making fish. We're frying fish, got some shrimp going, french fries are done. Let's have a fish fry, y'all. It's easy. Okay, see, I don't want the snake, I don't want the alligator, I, I don't want it. Y'all can have it. <laughs> you can you can have it. I can <laughs> Okay, you said you didn't go to a prom. I wasn't interested in the prom. Not not at that age. I wasn't interested in a prom at all at that age. Okay, so so that you know was nothing. And then, like I said, when it came for to me and my husband getting married, I'm okay with us that how we went downtown. It's amazing. We have been together since 1997. Do you hear me? It's 2023. And like I said, if we wind up renewing our vows, it would only be for pictures, just to get some pictures. Absolutely. I do not regret not going to a prom. Yes, and my prom was before I met my husband. Um, I did not regret not going to a prom. I was so young, I just wasn't interested at all. Not at that age. Hold on, y'all. I'm putting some powder on my face because it's getting hot in this kitchen here. I don't want to have an oily face. Here we go, this is it. Okay. Uh oh, your camera's uneven. Okay, so we need to turn around our shrimp in such a way. I'm gonna flip that shrimp over. Oh yeah, we're getting some golden brown color. And when I come around and look at the messages, I want you all to let me know if you would like to go outside with me in the backyard and we can chat. Is that something that you all would like to do? If so, please speak up and we can do that. Or if you want to just sit in my kitchen, we can do that too. All right, come, come show the people what we got going on. Got some stuff going on here, people. Hit that note. And he said, hit that note. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ain't no way. All right. Hold on. I'm wiping this down. I like for this to be nice and clean, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. This meal, I, I just have to step in and say, if you cook with me, let me know if it was easy, if it was fun, how you enjoy the live today. Somebody out there, let me know. Easy, fun. And you clean up after yourself, and you're going to be stress-free. Cl always clean up after yourself. When you clean up after yourself, you, 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 you know, it, it's just great. <laughs> I'm so serious when I say that. It is. It just frees your mind. Because I just have to say, no one in this world wants to have to clean up after eating a nice meal. Clean up as you go, and you don't have to do it. You know, when you get some downtime, uh, you know, make some hot soapy water for your dishes. Wiping the counters, wiping the stove off, just doing little things that's going to help you be stress-free. I'm going to get some ketchup. Or do I want cocktail sauce? I think I want to use cocktail sauce. I'll take the ketchup out, though. So I took out hot sauce, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, and cheese sauce for anybody that wants to use condiments. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Pick that up for me. All right. My shrimp is done. We're getting ready to eat, y'all. So how about we get ready to say a quick prayer? All right. I want to find out if my husband is ready to eat. 
So I can make him a nice plate. He may have eaten already, though. But I tell you what's great about this fish. When making this fish, I don't mind heating this fish up. This fish is delicious when you heat it up and it stays crispy. There are some fishes that you can fry and then you turn around and you go to heat it up and it's soggy. Not this fish. It stays crispy. So look, I like to put a piece of lemon wedge on every, whoops, on everybody's plate so that they can enjoy the lemon if, if they choose to, you know. Purple love. Let's see, I used to wear myself out cooking and cleaning up afterwards. Now I could, yes. Clean up as you go. I hope y'all can see um, what we have going on here. Because this kitchen ain't dirty at all. Not at all. And if you don't feel like doing the dishes, you know, that's okay. Just at least make some hot, excuse me, at least make some hot soapy water so you can throw those dishes in there. I don't know how I developed um, the hiccups. <laughs> so I'm hiccuping. Let me check on my shrimp. He 
wants the thin and crispy pieces. <laughs> yes. Okay, you want, um, how many pieces of fish you want right now? Just one. Okay. Do you? You're not here. You don't give me two. I don't need it. That's so funny, y'all. That's so funny. That's so funny. That's so disrespectful.
I'm going to get you some white cranberry peach juice, okay? Or white grape peach juice. We're good, we're good. Twist the tripod, not the camera. You're going to make them dizzy. All right, not the cheese sauce for the people that want the cheese sauce. Yo, I'm hungry. I'm going to put some cocktail sauce on my plate. And we're going to have fun. Nicola, once we get the tripod outside where I'm going to sit, you hear me? Mm -hmm. I want you to bring me my drink that's on my dresser. It's a, it's a water that's already made for me, okay? Uh. All right, y'all. Don't pay attention to the camera going everywhere. One second. We're getting it ready so we can head outside, okay? Let me flip that for you. Okay. All right, let's do it. I got my fork. I got my lemon. Oh, a little bit of tartar sauce, because I know somebody's going to want to say, Gina, give me a taste with the tartar sauce. Okay, so we can do that too. You bring my bag out there so I can block my face if I get sweaty. Let's do this, y'all. Y'all, look, y'all get to see the whole setup. The cameraman showing y'all everything. Lord have mercy. The my goodness. The tripod is not tight, man. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> One more good spin. No! Quit spinning that, boy! Okay. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with him, y'all? Come on. You ready? We're good. Alright. So put it right here. <laughs> Alright, so keep the mulch. Alright, you, you got the, um, let me show y'all first. Somebody see it? Somebody see it? Somebody see it. Somebody sees it. We got cheese sauce, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, fish, shrimp, fries, and a little bit of lemon. Are we going to sit here or are we going to sit there? What's the best place? How about we sit there and then you can plug the camera into the house? Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do it that way. We'll sit here. 
Do you want to disconnect the mic? Yeah, I'm just doing this. All right. Bring bring the tripod down. Sorry, y'all, that we're doing this live. We're doing this live on air. But this is what we usually have to do before I go live. But we're just doing it now. We're working the tripod down to my level. Okay. So, I'm going to take the microphone off, y'all. And you'll really be able to hear me very well. Okay. So, put it, put it here. This is where I need it. I want the camera like this. Look, you fi fix that. Okay. Okay. We out here, y'all. All right. That looks good, Gina. Okay, great. Now, all right, Dakota, bring the, um, my bag, my bag. Bring the, the long charger, plug it into the house so this camera does not die on us out here. I'm taking the microphone off, okay? <laughs> Y'all get to see everything. When, when we go live, there's no pausing. You know, normally, you know, if we're doing something like this, I do all this before going live. But, hey, listen, we're live. You get to see every bit of it. Look at this. Look at this food. Look how crispy the fish is. You was dizzy there. Okay. Look, and for the person that said uh, fish being oily, it's not oily. I'm promising y'all. Look at that beautiful outside. I'm going to give y'all a bite of this fish right now. Somebody take a bite. There's a little bit of tartar sauce on there. Take a bite. Let me know what you think. Oh, wait. Mmm. Mmm. I ain't no way. No. Bring me that uh, black and white towel. I'm doing okay, Susan. How are you? Where is your cornbread? Oh, I didn't make any cornbread. No cornbread today. Okay, can you all see the background very well? Or somebody tell me, somebody out there tell me, is it too sunny? Your dad used to say your stomach done sunk to your back. <laughs> Let me see your stomach done sunk to your back. I haven't any, eaten anything but coffee. Oh, and a cherry Coke. Oh my goodness, why well, pray that you get to eat something? Uh, oh, okay, it's not. Okay. Okay. Shrimp, y'all, with cocktail sauce. Okay. Where's the white bread, Gina? That looks good. Haven't eaten anything but coffee. I'm sorry to hear that. I pray that you get something to eat. Um, I feel like since I have carbs... I really don't need the bread. Although I would love to have a piece of bread and, and smother some of that tartar sauce on there, but I don't need the bread. Thank you, DEA, or definitely. Is that your name? I'll show you a little bit of the backyard here, y'all. There's a little bit. And then this way is where I was getting ready to sit. I was getting ready to sit right there. And then y'all could have seen that side of the of the yard. But I feel like this is a great view that we have here. No cocktail. Oh, I got cocktail and tartar sauce. Okay, so let's take a bite of the fish. All right. I, and on this piece of fish, there's cocktail <laughs> and tartar sauce. Take a bite, y'all. Thank you, DGF. She has my mouth salivating right now, says Loretta. Oh, that's great. Oh, <laughs> there's a green snake. You made me look, too. There's a green snake right next to your arm, Gina. Look at that. So now, I remember I told you I wanted to show you how flaky 
the fish is. Look at this. So, like, stop the comments for a second, y'all. I want you to see how flaky it is. Look at that. No, the flies ain't bothering me. We ain't got no flies out here, y'all. I didn't want any hot sauce. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Latricia, you say what it do? How you doing today? Mmm. I mean, thank you, Reese. There is um, flies, of course, but not out, not right now. We don't see a lot of flies out here. Mmm. Look at this. Is that a good? Hold on. Uh, hold on. I'm going to switch the picture. I'm going to make sure. That's how I make sure the picture is nice and clear. Look at that. That is fish. Thank you, Tamika T. Hey, listen, with God, all things is possible. <laughs> Latika said, that's mine. Thank you, uh, Sonia says, welcome back, Drew. <laughs> okay, first topic is why Gina Young won't sing for her fam. <laughs> well, I show y'all what. When it comes to singing, y'all, I I get shy. I do. When it comes to singing, I just get shy. For some reason, y'all, I'm going all out. I put cheese on there. Michelle Mason, I'm watching. Um, I don't know why I get shy when it comes. When is when is the cookout? We're gonna do a cookout soon. Um, me and my husband were just talking about that. Um, but like I said. Oh, you are? You're shy, period? <laughs> okay. Yeah, when it comes to uh, singing, for some reason, I just get shy. But like I told y'all, look at that big piece of shrimp. I feel like because cooking isn't um, singing is a gift, I would say so. And singing is one of one of my gifts. But I feel like since it's not the top tier gift, I'm just shy when it comes to singing. And I really don't sing around nobody but my family or people like, you know, like, you know, family, like just family. I don't know why. I'm serious. It's not that I just don't want to sing for y'all. I just get shy when it's time to sing. Look at that. Look at that cheese drip. My good. Well, I got to get that up. Because I don't want no ants to get that cheese. You used to say you were camera shy. Let me see. You came out of it. So when you're... <laughs> Oh, that's Derek. That is so funny, Derek. I hear that crunch. Uh-huh. How are you doing these days better? Bless. I'm doing fine, Tracy. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. How are you doing? You love trout? Okay. Kicking it with Donna. How you doing? I like your short videos, Gina. Oh, that's great. Yes, you're my family, definitely. Thank you. It's good, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all another show of my plate. There's a fish. Cocktail and tartar cheese sauce. That's a shrimp, 
fries, fish. I'm gonna put some lemon. How do how do your whiting fish turn out? My whiting will look just like this and be delicious. And I always keep the skin on my whiting because um, when I was younger, we kept the skin on the whiting and I eat it. Um, but it, it turns out just like this. You got the works, you know, I tried. <laughs> You know, here's the thing. If I wasn't going live, I probably just would have made some fish and we would have, you know, just ate fish. <laughs> but, you know, I want to go all out for y'all. I, I want to have fun. I want y'all to see me behind that island cooking and talking and, you know, because y'all come here for food. Here, here's what I would love for y'all to do. Okay, let me see this message. Thank you, Sonya. Um, I don't remember what trout tastes like. Y'all, Gina always turns me out with that delicious food. <laughs> Thank you. Um, think of some ideas for the new Healthy Cooking Channel. So now, I don't, do you fry the skin down first? Uh, yes, guess what? If you don't fry the skin down first, if you fried the flesh down first and the skin was on the top, excuse me, as that flesh gets hot, guess what's gonna happen? That, that skin at the bottom is gonna curl up and your fish is gonna be like this. It's not gonna lay flat, okay? So what happens after that? The fish flesh heats up, and you had the skin up this way, your fish will be curved versus having a fish that was nice and flat. Okay? I know. Diabetic foods will be great. Um, listen, it's going to be healthy. So it may be diabetic foods. It may be keto foods. It's going to be health. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be healthy. All right? So now, think of some names and tonight when I go back tonight when I go back it yep healthy foods uh-huh when I go back and I re-watch this live I'm gonna look at some of your ideas for the new channel name go Lakers okay I'm gonna be looking at your suggestions Mmm, corn on the cob on the grill. Mm hmm No, I'm talking about new names. Tell me some names for the channel. For this new channel. Oh, you are? You're eating asparagus right now. I don't know. When it comes to people being allergic to seafood why they're allergic to some but not all cooking to lie oh cooking to live isn't that funny how different words because i thought that said live but it's live cooking to live that's a good one a let's talk about that is that drew that says that asparagus make your urine smell funny that is a funny comment but it's so true i always like to say after eating asparagus, your urine smells like, um, like marinara sauce. <laughs> Why'd I have to pick marinara sauce? <laughs> or garlic bread. <laughs> or garlic bread. That is so nuts, but it's so true. <laughs> he said, LOL, it does. It really does. And if y'all never experienced that, you will. It's weird. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this show. He said it really does. It does. So that's one thing I agree with. Uh, <laughs> I agree with Drew on. I'm squeezing the lemon onto the fish, y'all. I got a nice amount of lemon on this fish. Eating cleaner with Gina. Okay, keep throwing those names out there, y'all. Throw the names out there. 
healthy alternatives with Gina. Okay. It cleans your system. Fresh fruits. You said fresh foods, not pre-packed. There's all kinds of title or uh, names that we can use for this channel. And I, I feel like we're going to find a perfect name for the channel. But I was also thinking about adding my name to it. So we'll see. We'll, we'll just have to see. But throw the names out there. Throw the names out there to me um, of what y'all think. Maybe we could name the channel. Healthy Gina's Kitchen. Cooking Healthy with Gina. Okay. Oh, we're getting some good ones. I'm going to look at all of them later. Okay. Sharon said, yes, keep your name in the title. <laughs> I'm so happy with everything that is here today. Gina's Healthy Kitchen, Gina's Healthy Hints, Healthy Living with Gina. These are great ones. Ooh, we cooking. <laughs> Make healthy fun with Gina Young. Oh, that's a good one. Mm hmm. Gina Young style going. <laughs> Y'all ever seen me read a message and not finish the rest? Y'all be cracking me up sometimes. Uh, G Hold on. Let me see. I thought you said Gina Young style. Hold on, this is so funny. Jeannie Young style going buck wild. <laughs> you know you nuts. You nuts for that one. Gina's healthy foods don't taste healthy. Ooh. My holy king, that's funny. <laughs> going buck wild. Derek said, laugh my butt off. So now, Derek, I know you enjoyed last year when we were outside. Are you enjoying it today? Anybody that, Regina delivering healthy cooking in her kitchen. Oh, that's nice. Gina comedy cooking with Drew. <laughs> oh, man. How about Barbados coconut sweet bread? I never heard of it, but I'll tell you what, little bit. It sure sound good. Gina's heavenly cooking. Healthy cooking with karaoke. <laughs> you know that's a good one. Healthy cooking with karaoke. That would that would be a term. People would be like, click there, click right on it. Like, you mean to tell me she cooking and singing? They would go nuts, right? Sue is laughing. Sue is having a good time. Hi, Shirley. How are you? Healthy G. Healthy Lifestyle Meals with Gina. Getting healthy with Gina Young. Even if I don't read it right now, don't worry. Just throw the names out there. Because every time we do a live, doesn't matter. Anytime we do a live, I always watch the live. Even if we have a live for four to six hours. We watch, we rewatch the live and make sure nobody needs to be uh, deleted, cut out, or mute, or blocked. We um, re-watch over um, the comments, because, you know, there's a lot of comments in here that I miss. And um, we also like to watch the channel for improvement. You know, like, what, what could you have done better when you were talking about your meatloaf? Excuse me, could you have done something better to teach the crowd easier? Could you have, you, you know, uh, how are you when you were speaking to that? Like, I'm always trying to critique, or not so much critique, just see what we could have done to improve. Or was it just a, a total 
a fun live and there was nothing to improve on you know and then like I said more than anything we go back and look at the comments look what people are saying was there a bot or a troll in there that needs to be deleted and if it's so if so then anybody missed it we go in and block them you know so if I miss your comment I'll I'll, I'll, I'll see it and I'm gonna write down some of your names that you're talking about Jeannie Young's healthy cooking meals that's a good one I love this one Gina make it Gina hold on keeping it lean and clean with Gina okay Brenda I love this one make it Gina Young style healthy kitchen okay get your cooking healthy you better make yourself <laughs> healthier cooking options in Gina's kitchen Y'all, this healthy cooking with Jill, with Jill Scott, get out of here. I know you lying. I know you lying on that one. Get healthy with Jill Scott. Don't you dare. <laughs> hey, listen, Drew, there might be one back here. <laughs> it's probably one. There's probably a moose back here. Eating healthy with Gina Young. That's a good one. Dog man. Dog man, how you doing? I don't know if I spoke to you. Getting fit with Gina. Change your physique with Gina. I don't know if I want to say that because it might be some people that cook the food and their physique don't change. And they're going to say, wait a minute. I've been cooking in my physique. <laughs> I won't say that. It is. The shrimp is bread ale. Mouth salivating. Healthy foods with Gina Young. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Yo, I, I couldn't be a mukbanger. I couldn't because I can never finish all my food. I just can't. Eating clean, eating clean ya with Gina Young. You probably right, Gina. Everything looks great. Thank you. Kicking it. Let me see. Kicking it the healthy way with Gina Young. Sonya laughing. But the move in Gina's healthy kitchen. I'm good. Gina's impeccably good food. Gina, the Lakers are getting to play. Oh, Lakers are getting ready to play. Okay, gotta go. See you later. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, Black. Can we talk about your clean eating channel? That's what we're talking about right now. That's what we're talking about right now. What you want to talk about? Because it, it's in the works. Tonight, the channel will be formed. And literally, the account will be made. Okay? All right? So, as far as the name, I don't know what the name is going to be. It's going to be a healthy cooking channel. Um, this should be a, a whole lot of fun. Um, and I have all the faith in the world that this channel is going to do well. Everybody wants to one day begin to start eating healthy, right? We all do. Heck yeah, we all do, right? Gotta go to Lakers coming on. Everybody's saying that. That's so funny. Um... So, we're going to put this thing together, and it's going to be fun. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to balance the two. And so, the first thing that you do is you pray about it. Lord, so I'm deciding to do this, and I invite you into this channel as well. Uh, but then the next thing, I need you to help me to balance the two. I want to show both channels um, the same love. I don't want to treat one channel better than I treat the other. I want both of these channels to be treated equally. We're gonna have a good time. 
We're gonna have a good time. Oh man, I'm stuffed, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. I need this channel, says Wanda. Okay. Well, listen, y'all. I want y'all to tell your family and friends and everybody you know about this channel. Gina, I'm just loving hearing the birds chirping. That's great. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer to the backyard. There's our grill right there, y'all. You're enjoying the birds. I'm glad you are. I I love the sound of the birds in the background. I'm really lo it's hot. It's nice out here. Thank you, Miss Karen. Thank you, Miss Karen. Thank you. Thank you. But as um, we were saying, we were telling y'all, we might not, we might sell this place, maybe. Maybe not, but we might, you know, it's kind of like up and down. Then again, maybe we might, but maybe we won't. But um, for the sole purpose of, we would love to have a bigger driveway. For sure, we would love to have a bigger driveway. And we also want to put an in-ground pool in. Um, there's plenty of room back here, but it's not the room that we desire to put our in-ground pool in. And so the question is, do we wanna put our pool um, in this backyard? You know, cause if you put your pool, y'all can't really see the backyard or, or the side over there it's a large area as well but if you decide to invest in a pool this is real talk y'all it's a nice amount of money right heck yeah it is it's a nice amount of money do you want to put it in this yard right so we're really weighing our options this house since we've moved in it the price has gone up sky high so we would not lose with this home. Um, we got to figure out if we want to put the pool in this house or do we want to purchase a house that already has a pool or do you purchase a house that has the room that you're looking for so you can put the pool because we don't want to put the pool in the house where uh, we possibly wouldn't be happy with where we put the pool. So I don't know if y'all can understand that, but it, it's, it's so interesting and so exciting to see, excuse me, what we're going to do. Because we always had a vision that we wanted the type of, my, uh, we want the type of driveway that is a wraparound driveway. We want our driveway to go like this. Not really, but you know what I mean. We want our driveway where we gotta get on the golf cart to go to the mailbox. I know that don't make any sense, but that's what we want. And so, <laughs> we didn't get that with this house. It, it was like, as soon as we saw this house, we was like, we want it, right? And so, uh, we purchased it. We'll see. But whatever we decide to do, we're going to take y'all on that journey. You hear me? Oh, we're going to take you on the journey. It should be a lot of fun. It should be really interesting. Now, there was a home that we looked at, not recently, before we moved here. Oh, or we didn't, we, we looked at it online. We didn't actually go in the home. Y'all, this house had, but it wasn't where we wanted to live. It was in Columbus, Ohio, and we didn't want to live in Columbus, Ohio. This house had a pool in the inside. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I said, oh, heck no. It just wasn't where we wanted to be. You know, what the heck was that? Oh, that was so scary. Y'all, you be hearing some noises back here. You be hearing some noises back here. I'm telling y'all, if it wasn't my, it could have been my husband in the camera. There's a camera back here. <laughs> let's just say, let's just say it was him. 
talking to me in the camera or making a noise. That could have been the case. But I tell you what, I just heard something back, back here. And Drew, that might have been your moose. <laughs> That might have been your moose back there making some noise. Y'all, I just heard something, and it wasn't even funny. What the heck was it, y'all? You hear some noises back here. But it's so peaceful. It's peaceful. It is peaceful. <laughs> Go pet him, Gina. It is so peaceful back here. Oh, you work for some, with the indoor pool, and it's very nice. Where they live at? Barbara, where do they live? Sasquatch. Uh-huh. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Oops. It could. It could. It could. You said, oh my goodness, you scared me. No, but there is deers. A ton of deers back here. A t and when I tell y'all it's a ton of deers, it's a ton of deers back here. The day we moved in, there was deers in our driveway. And my husband was like, he couldn't believe it. There was three deers in the driveway. And the neighbors had told him, he said, they said, well, that you're welcome to the neighborhood. My husband said, I couldn't believe it was deers just, deers just staring at me in the driveway. <laughs> it could have been, but it sounded like somebody talking, y'all. <laughs> Drew said, if a large moose come up to you, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> uh -huh, you, you, you will, because you're going to see, I'm going to leave y'all right here, and I'm running in the house. The, mush, the bush is moving behind you. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> hey, this was fun today. Oh, you had deer in your backyard until you put up the privacy fence. So see, if we put a pool back here, we have to put, you know, the uh, the fence up for sure. Um, and that would prevent, but my dad was telling me with there being as many deers as we have back here, my dad said, those deers can scale that fence. Like my dad said, those deers will scare, scale that fence and, you know, and they'll, uh, possibly fall in your pool. I thought, are you kidding me? He said, heck no. He said, they'll drink, they'll come, they'll scale the, uh, the fence, drink the water, or they could possibly fall in your pool. He says, so you're going to want to make sure you cover the pool up every night. <laughs> I thought, oh man. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And also, there's a lot of frogs. There's frogs out here. There's frogs out here like nuts. So I'm pretty sure we have to fish out some frogs. Gina, I'm getting ready to go to church. I enjoy myself. I'll be waiting for the next live. Good night. Thank you for coming in. Oh, Sharon says, yes, the frogs. You're going to have to, you're going to have to get them out. <laughs> Christopher, how you doing today? You guys are so funny. I have... Oh, you said you guys are so funny. I have a moose in my yard every night. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Sonia says, uh, walk 30 to 45 minutes a day. I don't know about the frog legs, though. Uh, uh Oh, Denise says, I hope they don't jump my fence. My dad said they will clear that fence Wait, when not, they don't even have to think about it. They would just, you know, because they're so agile and they're so light on their feet. And it's not hard for them to jump a fence, especially if they want water. You know, I mean, I'm, I, of course, it probably wouldn't happen in the daytime. 
but I'm sure at night, if you left the pool open, they most likely scale that fence to get to that water, unless you covered it up every night. <laughs> okay, this is so funny. My Holy King says, we have Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Jason, <laughs> everybody over here. Did I hear it? There was... <laughs> No, you didn't, Derek. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, lots of deers, but they never jumped in your pool. Okay. See, now, when you live um, in HOA, uh, you have to get the in-ground pools. Now, when you don't live at HOA, excuse me, when you don't live HOA, you can get an uh, over-the-top pool, um, and you can build a deck around it. So there's so many different options. And I'm just excited, y'all. There's so many different options for what kind of pool. And the thing is, are you going to go HOA? Or because HOA is absolutely amazing. You know, people say things about HOA, but I love it. I love it because HOA means that your neighbor can't have a mess around their yard, right? Everything has to be prestige, in order, no weeds, everything A1, grass cut, windows clean, nothing sitting outside. But then when you're not HOA, then somebody can have bikes just sitting in their backyard. I don't want that. You see what I'm saying? So uh, there's a lot to think about. It's interesting, it's exciting. And then we gotta figure out what type of pool do we want? Do we want the over the top? If we were to get over the top, we would get a deck built around it. A deck where we could sit lots of people around the pool and that had steps that would go down into the yard. Maybe the deck could connect to the house some type of way. So that part is really exciting. I'm, yes, Sonia, absolutely. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're making sure your front porch lights are not... I mean, HOA will... If somebody has a, fr a front porch or a side light out that's burnt out, you might possibly get a letter saying you need to fix that. Your light should be, you know, not blown out. You know, or I don't know how extent that is. That might be a little overextent. But, like I said, you can't just be leaving skateboards in your yard overnight. And if you're not an HOA, well, your neighbor might have a couple of sho shovels up against, <laughs> up against the garage, some bikes up against the garage, and I don't like that. But if you get a place where you don't have neighbors and your neighbors are far, far away, then you wouldn't have to worry about that. You wouldn't have to worry, you know, so it's so much to think about. When you tried stopping sugar before, I kept telling myself sugar is poison. I had to get, let me see, let me see, hold on. I had to get it right with my brain at Sonia. Yes, sh listen, they tell you that sugar is no good. The carbs, it's no good. They t Okay, so let's just put it this way. Um, flour, right? And I'm not talking about wheat flour. I'm talking about white flour. Flour, noodles, potatoes, rice, and sugar. Those white things. Flour, potatoes, noodles, rice, and sugar. Those things are horrible for you. And they say that they say really bad things about it. So if at all possible, you can watch your carbs. Watch how much sugar. Watch your, we love potatoes, right? Okay, so let's just say you love potatoes, right? I love potatoes, I don't know if I could have, somebody's in the background saying, I don't know if I could ever give it up. Well, how about if you start off this way? Let's just say the whole family's having baked potatoes and um, a steak or whatever. If everybody's having a baked potato, what's wrong with uh, you just having this much of a, if the baked potatoes are this big, how about you just cut this much off and eventually pull back your carbs? 
you could have this much of the potato versus this much you know and it's better decisions or if you love um rice have brown rice have cauliflower rice look we're gonna have fun on this other channel y'all you hear me uh and drew says in moderation and, and moderation is true it is you prefer a baked sweet potato there you go a better option it's not the same as a white potato but you're gonna get that same somewhat kind of feeling and if not you could do squash you know do um, spaghetti squash right cut that baby in half season it bake it and eat all of the inside of that spaghetti squash brown rice it is delicious if you know how to make it if you if you know how to cook it you know um, I used to not like brown rice but it's good and I like the chewiness that it has yo are we getting um, a, a glare or is is everything okay I'm trying to fix the camera in such a way is everything okay with the lighting oh there it goes it's it's like the Sun is going in and out my goodness well rice is Gina would you like a jacuzzi outside rather than a pool um no <laughs> I had to think about that real quick because I want the pool because I want the pool like we um, we could put a jacuzzi um, back you know right here where we're at right now let me show you where I'm sitting right now there's the grill but back here would be the perfect spot right where the grill is or right there where that couch is see that couch over there y'all we could put a jacuzzi there or here but see I, I even if we were to have that I would still rather to pull it's what I've always dreamed of my whole life and I always said that we will do it um I think I think I could go without having a jacuzzi I think I just could Oh, yeah, you do. Um, the jacuzzi in the pool. I've seen that, too. Yo, I can't get the color right. Is my color messed up? Gina, what if you just enclose your pool? Are there to keep animals out? Yeah, that's what we would have to do. Uh, every night. Is enclose. Like you said, put the enclosement onto the pool. And then they wouldn't bother you. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Y'all, I love my dad. I love my dad so much. My dad is absolutely amazing. Yes, he is. And he was an amazing dad growing up. Hold on, y'all. Um, I don't even know what a water mo what's a what's a water moccasin, y'all? <laughs> what is it? Tell me what it is. I don't even know what a water moccasin is. <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> don't scare me. It, it making me think something's gonna be in the pool. Oh, oh, it's a water snake. I know, I know. But is a snake and it's poisonous. Y'all need to stop. Y'all know y'all need to stop. See, now uh, where we live, uh, we have a pool, um, you know, that's in the community where we live. And, um, you know, the residents that live here, you know, we have our own little uh, way to get in. And there's like a party house and everything and basketball courts and stuff like that. But just to be honest, I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't. I want my own. 
I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> so, and that's nuts. Because when we chose this place, we thought that we would want to go. You know, and we would just be a hop, skip, and away. You know, just, just a, a couple steps and you're at a pool every day in the summer. But we don't want to go. Yeah. A water moccasins. I'm going to look it up too. Y'all trying to scare me. Look at y'all. My goodness. Oh, let me see. This is nuts. Okay, you said in Miami, a tarantula got in your uncle's pool right by your face. Your uncle saved me. Oh my goodness. Is that right, Heidi? Heidi, how you doing? I didn't get to speak to you today. That sure is scary. I tell you that. Would you want a heated in-ground pool? Um, so it would definitely be heated. Um, my dad has a pool. Um, my dad's pool. Is my dad's pool heated? I think that my dad's pool is heated. And um, he also has lights in his pool and um, it will turn different colors, like from green to blue to, uh, you know, pink to purple. Oh, oh yeah, and so it's gorgeous. My dad has a gorgeous pool and it has a diving board. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Would you be allowed to install? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Christopher. All you have to do is just ask the HOA, okay? And then um, you tell them and you show them a picture of what you're wanting. So uh, after you show them what you're wanting, they usually respond back within just a couple of weeks. Um, and they'll tell you yes. Um, but if you're somebody that didn't know, that you can't get a over the top ground they would tell you no but then they also would explain like out here you're only allowed in ground you know what i mean so uh they definitely would approve it but then they'd also let you know you got to get your fence as well you know let me see what i got oh okay the camera's telling me somebody's in the backyard it's me <laughs> It's me. <laughs> Y'all, I watch this YouTuber and I totally love watching them. And they have the best titles. The titles that they put on their, for their title. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> the title that they put for their title or their thumbnail is absolutely amazing. Every time they post a video i'm like i like i'll look at it like what now <laughs> right i click that baby and i'll be like they have the best titles they give me every time <laughs> they give me every time my goodness and it's two of them that does it it's a wife and a husband they are speaking the truth about water moccasins the skimmer hold on this is nuts the skimmer will catch some of them I'm talking about like frogs and all the little creatures. Okay, Kizzy, go ahead and scare me. Okay, Kizzy. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> oh, I hate that um, the sunlight is making my teeth look yellow and my teeth are not yellow. It's the sunlight, y'all. It's, it's the sunlight that we're dealing with. I'm trying to fix it. See, that's, that's the color that I'm looking for. But when I put my head in, I think it's focusing this camera is nuts right now. There we go. I think it's better. As long as I keep my head right here, the, the, the camera has a good picture. I'm trying to, I'm trying to scare you. I have a pool. Oh, oh, you, you said I'm not trying to scare you. Okay, okay, Kizzy. It's making the trees yellow. Yeah, and the trees ain't yellow. What the heck? Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Come on, y'all. Come on. Can the camera just focus for me? Hold on. I'm going to put my hand here, y'all. The camera's doing some funky tricks. Hold on.
Let's see. What time does the sun set? Um, it's literally 8 o'clock p.m. right now. It might not get dark until 9.30. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And when the fireworks starts, um, you know, during the 4th of July, so wherever you're going to be watching the fireworks, you want to normally get there by 9. If you're there by 9, it'll just be beginning to set. And then by 9.30, 9.40, fireworks is going off. So I love when it stays lighter later. I love it. I'm sorry y'all got this yellow glare, but I just can't seem to fix it right now. You love when it gets dark later too. Uh-huh. I'm sure if my husband was here, he'd be able to um fix this camera for me is it okay are y'all okay with the lighting or do you want to go in no it hasn't it hasn't been created yet but it's going to get created tonight and then i'm going to come to you all and then i'm going to come to you all i know the camera has an attitude today i'm going to come to you all and tell y'all Boom, this is the channel name, go subscribe, okay? And so I'm gonna want y'all to get me to a thousand subscribers, that's what I need. We're gonna get to a thousand subscribers very quickly. And then we wanna get to how many viewing hours? There's a certain amount of viewing hours. And then what I'm gonna be doing, cause we wanna do that quickly so I can come out here and do lives. Because in the beginning, I'm not going to be able to do lives until I get a certain amount of views and a certain amount of subscribers. Once that happens, I'm going live. I'm doing a lot of the healthy foods out here on the grill. Okay, I don't want the channel to be boring. But I do need the people to subscribe, get the, give me the viewing hours so we can go live and we can do live cooking sessions out here. So my husband told me, to get um, an island. Uh, we're gonna get an island. Yeah. Thank you, Stephanie. We're gonna get an island, and I feel like we're gonna put the island, like right, you see that tree right there? Okay, you see it? We're gonna put an island right there, okay? And maybe some bar stools, and we'll be able to set up a camera there and do cooking there, okay? On the island, and we'll take is 601 there? Okay, okay. Thank you, Heidi. And we'll take the grill and put the grill over there by the island. So we'll have the grill right there, right here. You know, back by that tree. The grill will be over here. We'll have the island over here. We'll have like a camera back here. And we'll be back there. It, it's going to be fun. Just, just show up. We're going to have fun. Good night, Drew. You leaving? Yo, I did pretty good. Good. Pretty good with my plate. I'm going to show y'all. Look at that. It is Crystal. Is your name Crystal? Let me see. Good night, Drew. Thank you for coming in and joining us. He found it. <laughs> Oh, you're in Michigan. Okay, okay. Miss Gina, with your grill, you have, I mean, you have to get a black stove. They are phenomenal. Um, I'm not interested in a, I'm not interested in a black stove. Um, I know somebody that um, uses a black stove to cook all kinds of stuff. That's not what I'm interested in. Um, because I can do, see, on my grill, I have a burners as well. So we can cook food on the burner, on the grill, and also um, on the grids of the grill. Okay, and some things we can just prepare out here still. And, uh, you know, we'll still do some stuff in the kitchen, but while it's hot, we're gonna be out, we're gonna be outside. So I gotta, I gotta order the island. 
That's one of the things that I need to do tonight. It's about time that he found it. Did he say he found it, Derek? <laughs> I told y'all tomorrow I'm going live. <laughs> what about a flat top? No, not for outside. I'm not going to buy any other cooking devices. Just the island. Oh, okay. The fish was great. Valencia, oh, that's awesome. Oh, uh, I was just saying. So tomorrow me and my husband are going live. I think we're gonna play. I think we're gonna play. Hey, it's me, camera. <laughs> camera keeps telling me somebody is in your backyard. It's me. I'm not leaving the chat. I was saying good night to Drew. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Um. Oh, so when we go live tomorrow, I told you uh, we're gonna be traveling, and we're gonna take y'all live. I don't know what time this could be tomorrow, okay? Is that okay that I don't know the time? Is Are y'all okay with me not knowing the time that I'm going to go live? Are y'all okay with that? Or when I push that button, just come in the live chat, okay? Uh, oh, you was just coming out there a few months ago. Oh, it's fine. Okay, okay, great. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to play the game that I told y'all about. Um, I told y'all about this before. It's a game. Oh, that's great, Maria. It's a game where uh, that we like to play when we're traveling. So one of the games is I'm going on a picnic, right? And so I may have told y'all before. And so it goes like this. It goes... I'm going on a picnic. I, okay, say it's just me and my husband. I'm going on a picnic. I'm taking apricots, right? Yes, the land is flat. And um, see that part right there? It looks like it dips right there, but, it, but it's not. What that is is landscaping rocks that go around like this that make it look like it's not. But it's flat. Um, listen, so it is called, I'm going on a picnic and I might say, I'm going on a picnic. I'm taking apricots, right? And then my husband steps in and he say, I'm going on a picnic. I'm taking apricots and bananas. And then I come in and I say, I'm going on a picnic. I'm taking apricots, bananas, and a cat, right? And then he's got to say, I'm going on a picnic. I'm taking apricots, bananas, a cat, and donuts, right? And then I come in and I say, I'm going on a picnic and I'm taking apricots, bananas, a cat, donuts, and eggs, right? Now, this goes on, on and on and on, right? It's so much fun, no matter how old you are. You could be a senior citizen playing this game. You could be young playing this game. Teenager, everybody, we all love it when we're traveling. And it's so much fun to play and also we do another game when we're traveling and it's like we might say name that food right don't y'all know my husband always say and you he look at me like this he's like and you should be the best one you should be the one that wins because you know foods don't y'all know once see you can't hesitate either right so you just gotta throw foods out there uh, you can't say anything like chocolate. No, that you just be out because you lost. I mean, it's a candy, but you lost. You know, don't cheat in the game either. So, so it's it's like chicken. I say chicken. He say ribs. We say eggs. Somebody say fish. Somebody say cotton candy. Like so, you listen. And I tell you what, my husband, he will he. When we're playing the game, like one time we was playing uh, colors. Was it Dakota or my husband? We was doing colors. And my husband said, velvet. I said, ain't no way. I said, you cheating. 
Velvet. Now, see, here's the thing. If you're not listening and you miss it, then they get to keep playing. You know, he, they threw velvet in. I was like, ain't no, you can't say velvet is not a color. Velvet is a material. I was like, uh-uh, y'all are just, yeah, I spy. You could do that. So we're going to um, possibly, when we're live, play some games. So we'll see how this goes. Y'all know my husband doesn't like to be on the camera much. But, uh... We're, we're going to do this game and we're going to have fun. Somebody is um, mowing their lawn, so you might hear that in the background. Oh, you played the ABC game. I don't know how you play that. What's the ABC game? Oh, the one that I'm talking about going on a picnic? Now, see... Uh, they will do a game where they're naming cars. I'm not. I'm. I don't even play it because I don't know no names of no nobody's car. He's not camera shy. He doesn't want to be famous. He does not want to be famous. He said, "Heck no." He said, "I'm gonna let you do that." He said, "I'm gonna let you do that." I'm gonna let you do that. <laughs> Please try I Spy. Yeah, I I've played I Spy. I've played I Spy. It's fun. <laughs> I see the bird. The I'm, I'm looking at the birds through the window. My goodness. Get in a. Let's see. Oh, road signs are wherever there's a word. <laughs> Thank you, my goodness. So when I go live, y'all show up. We're going to have a lot of fun. Any, Gina, what do you use in the backyard to prevent bugs? I tell you what we do. Whoever we use um, for our landscaping. We have them spray the trees. Heck yeah, we have them spray the trees for uh, bugs and mosquitoes. And also, we have them spray for ants. They'll spray in the house and outside of the house, around the house for ants. And then also, well, they put like a granular down. And then also, um, for ticks and fleas, they spray the yard, which is absolutely amazing. These puppies that we have, they have never ever in their whole life since they've been born had fleas and ticks. Although we do get them their, their shot for fleas and ticks and they give it to them between their shoulder blades. Um, so that helps, you know, that definitely helps. But then we also get the grass treated for fleas and ticks. So there's ways to prevent bugs although we could sit out here at night and see all kind of bugs on the ground but as long as they're on the ground they ain't bothering me right but the ones that are pest we get treated like ants you know if you got a ton of ants those ants are going to make it to your house so once every three months we have a, a orkin or pest control come and they'll spray for, or put the granulars down for the ants, and then the ants are gone. You ain't gotta worry about them. You ain't gotta worry about them in your house or, you know, around the house on the porch or nothing like that. Get out of here. He said, ain't no way. He said, ain't no way you gonna get rid of them snakes. Y'all remember when I first moved in, there was a snake. Y'all remember, do y'all remember that video when I first moved here? And the neighbor was absolutely amazing. He came over, him and his wife came over. He had like a like uh, like a garden hoe or something. And he was gonna get that baby for me, but it went it went in a hole. <laughs> oh, you remember? Okay, okay. People are saying they remember. Okay, okay. So yesterday we applied for the um, the gold the gold play button which is the YouTube gold play button. Oh, Sonia remembers, okay. So uh, they said about two to three weeks we should get it. So I want to prepare 
a nice um, another thank you video or I may just read off the new letter that the new owner that took over YouTube should probably send me in the pack in the um, my package with the uh, YouTube plaque so that's really exciting I remember when I did um, the video for the hundred thousand plaque and I'd said like a little speech and I believe I read the note that came with it you... <laughs> let me see I remember you said I remember you were scared to death of those snakes I know I told y'all everything such a beautiful sunny day and beautiful yard thank you a briggs i appreciate it appreciate it thank you ouch i got a hangnail i've been picking at this thing i can't pull it off oh yes yeah, susan absolutely the worst insects are mosquitoes and flies. I feel like we don't get flies. And like I said, we spray for the mosquitoes and um, they uh, mostly, they'll spray where they see uh, the trees, the bushes, anything that's got leaves and stuff on it um, for mosquitoes. And we don't have issues with mosquitoes at all. Like I said, more than anything, what I think we've seen the most of out here is the frogs. <laughs> frogs galore, y'all, and they just as cute. Frogs are not scary. They're kind of cute. There were some black ones out front, some back here. I, I don't want to know. I don't I don't know if I want to say they were black. They, they matched the mulch. So y'all see what color the mulch is right there. They were that color. So they might have been dark brown, but they look black. And then I told Dakota, I asked him, did he remember seeing a white one out here over there by the uh, fireplace right there? He said he don't remember. I called him out here one day. There was a total white one just sitting right there, and he jumped in the mulch. Your wife is scared of bees. Oh, my goodness. I'm not afraid of bees, but I don't like, like the yellow jackets, you know, the bumblebees with the big yellow and black and um the the hornets and the uh wasp those are ones i don't like I, I just don't like it oh i know we have frog lake cook i i don't believe you derek i don't believe you oh you hate the wasp miss karen yeah 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 so let me see it's almost it's almost 8 30 y'all see it's still light let's look up at the sky the trees are still beginning to get some leaves on them so they're they don't have its full leaves on them well you can see the sun is starting to set can you kind of see that through the but overall it's pretty bright out here frog legs dipped in honey i i don't believe you i don't believe you ain't no way you're gonna get me to believe you <laughs> y'all i'm gonna watch this live tonight y'all are something else y'all i want something y'all i want something sweet i shouldn't <laughs> i need to get in the gym y'all okay you said you're definitely afraid of anything that can fly and stings <laughs> you can let me see let me see let me see I can do it, snakes before that. Is that right, Crystal? You're kidding me. Oh, you're allergic to them. You said you will leave your soul. Is that right? <laughs> See, now, me, when it comes to things that fly, the heck with that? I'm not scared of that. What I'm scared of is mice, y'all. And, 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 and like Crystal just said, I will leave my soul. When it comes to my y'all when it comes to mice i'm done <laughs> i'm done i am done y'all Ooh. <laughs> the tripod and the camera just ain't working for me today and it's okay because god is a good god <laughs> you hear me christopher said the ratchet rope just no thanks oh wait mm -mm. i don't want it ain't no way <laughs> you know 
say you something else for that comment. It's so nice out here. My goodness. I, you know, I, do, does anybody feel like that when the weather is cold that you get depressed? I've heard that people get depressed when it rains. Is there anybody out there that gets depressed when it rains or when it's cold weather? I don't get depressed when it rains or it's cold weather, but I tell you one thing. I feel so, you do? Is that right? Hold, hold on, y'all. Oh, okay. That's so funny. Okay. All right. So that's YouTube. And they're telling me right now to claim my, uh, my gold play button, but I've already filled the application out for it. I, I did that last night. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Uh, I'm just telling them that I applied for it last night. Okay. Uh, what the heck was I getting ready to say? I don't know what I was, I was going to talk about something. Oh, cloudy days are your favorite? Are you kidding me? Who says that? I don't believe it. Yes, absolutely. We all do. You said you need to keep your eyes on Jesus. Absolutely. That's the best thing to do. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting all kind of messages. Ah, uh, thank you, Susan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. So I'm waiting on, oh, I got it. I uh, We purchased some new, um, what are they called? Um, what the heck are they called? Uh, I, why do I want to say step mats? What's the mats that goes at your front door? <laughs> front door mats. I feel like we really needed to switch them up. So we switched them up, and I'm happy with the kind that we got. I'll have to show them to y'all when we get them put down. Welcome, Matza. Is there someone in here named Matza? Thank you for coming in and joining us today. We're sitting outside here at the Young's house. You love storms as long as they're not severe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No tornado. No, no tornadoes. Like I said, I, I like the hot weather. I like the sun beating down on my skin. And I really like, for some reason, I like the sun on my feet. So I like to take, well, do you need something? I like to take my shoes and my socks off or have on sandals, you know and let that sun just beat down on my feet and I feel 
so amazing. Regardless of the weather, it's still a rejoicing. Absolutely, Sonia. You are absolutely uh, right about that. Okay, so Stephanie says summer girl here. Amen to that, Sonia, says Crystal. Jenny, your backyard looks like a beautiful painting. Thank you. You like the cold weather, is that right? So my husband, he he says that he likes the, the 70s. We were sitting out here this morning, and it, it had to be 11 o'clock this afternoon. And he was sweating. I said, are you hot? <laughs> he was sweating. He was wiping his head. I said, are you hot? And he said, he said, I'm going in. <laughs> he said, yes, I'm hot. <laughs> you see my head? And I thought, you hot already? It ain't even afternoon time yet. Only, okay, so Jer says, only storm is beautiful. It's a lightning storm. As long as it makes no major, no thanks. I don't think lightning is beautiful at all. Lightning is scary to me. My goodness. It, 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 lightning scares me. Early fall. Early fall is nice. It is. I have to admit it. And the trees are gorgeous. You see the red. You see the pink. You see the orange and the yellow and the green. It's tornadoes. Oh, let me see. Oh, no thanks, Ron. Mm-mm. You love to sit outside in the sun for at least 30 minutes a day. Sonia, that's absolutely amazing. Guess why? It's amazing because you're getting that fresh vitamin D. That vitamin D just straight from the sun is great. And see, believe it or not, everybody, no matter what skin color you are, should be using um, a SPF uh, a sunscreen. I mean, if you're allergic, then don't use it. And I'm not a doctor, so don't, you know, say, Jeannie Young said, you know, I'm not a doctor and I'm not claiming to know this to be a fact. But you should use sunscreen. You should use, sun using sunscreen is so safe um, for your skin. You want to protect your skin from those UV rays, you know, but... I got, I got this one, too, if I need it to. Uh, October and November. Oh, yes. D Don't you do that, Dr. Gina says use sunscreen. No, I'm just saying it's good for you. <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> Y'all something else. Y'all something else in here. <laughs> no, I'd like to say I'm not a doctor because, uh-uh. <laughs> Uh, Cause I'm not. <laughs> oh, you said the lightning is frightening. It is. They said what? Huh? Oh, okay. uh, look! Look at the puppy. Y'all see a puppy right there? <laughs> look at him, y'all. This is so much fun. Oh, that's great. Thank you, baby, for the light. It looks beautiful. It made my face even more oily. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but it's uh, great. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, uh, the light looks better. Oh, my husband. My husband brought the light out. He's absolutely amazing. Go pee-pee. Go out there and pee-pee. Look at the baby, y'all. Oh, they said that's perfect lighting, honey. There's a hawk coming for the baby. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. There's your puppy. Yes, there's one, and here's the other one. Y'all, he's right beside me. He probably ain't gonna go pee until he gets to see the camera. Say hi to the people. Say hello to the people out there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that baby, y'all. Oh, my goodness. You're just a little booger, ain't you? Oh, beautiful light. You are glowing, Gina. <laughs> Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, hey. Here's the other baby. Y'all, y'all, look at this. Look at this. My goodness. Look at their Hi, pee pee. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, y'all. Oh, too many kisses. 
too many hi <laughs> hey did you was you downstairs with your daddy huh hey so my crystal says hi pukas <laughs> pukas they are cutie pies y'all they are the best they smell they smell so good y'all y'all would never ever believe how good they smell they are the sweetest pee pee was you a good boy today hey hush puppies <laughs> they are hush puppies I wish they would hush. <laughs> my husband said i wish they would hush puppy <laughs> look at them y'all okay 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 Deal good babies look at that look all right baby you put the perfect lighting out here my goodness <laughs> it is this is fun so it's it's totally like um a family reunion when we do this it is isn't it yes it is yes it is we have a lot of fun look at them look at them look at those babies look 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 there's one and there's the other they just looking they just looking i love this i do too i do too <laughs> the sun is going down and we still live we talking we gonna chit chat i'm i'm always gonna promise y'all they ran they ran straight for him they did they're, they're right at my lap right now um i'm always gonna promise y'all to bring good fun i love when we get on here we have good laughs we have the best topics we do we have the best topics and we have fun you know we make amazing recipes somebody out there is able to get a good recipe be able to share it with their family and then we sit and chat thank you Stephanie I love you look at my baby look at my little boy <laughs> I'm gonna point the camera down at them to show y'all what they're doing okay there's one look there's one he's he's looking for my husband and that one he's looking for my husband too look they ain't paying me no attention <laughs> Uh oh there they go in the house in the house there they went <laughs> oops now we're not getting you're just coming in ricardo welcome in thank you for coming in and joining us today thank you yeah thank you i'm gonna put it this way Thank you, sweetie pie. Oh, yay. Hey, we're having, what are we having, y'all? It's four o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> My husband done covered me up with this blanket. Guess what he said? He said she could stay out there till four o'clock in the morning now, y'all. <laughs> I could, you know, I could. I really could and I would because we have just that much fun. It ain't getting chilly, no. It's nice out. He just thought if he just thought if I was cold, you know, to give me this blanket. It ain't cold out here. It's nice. Y'all, it's gotta be, I don't know, maybe 70s. And I'm talking about uh 76, 75. It ain't cold. He is hilarious. She'll stay out there till four. She'll stay out there till four. <laughs> oh no, I'm not cold. He, y'all, he's absolutely amazing. Look at those babies. They, they just minding their own business, doing, doing their thing. Y'all can see them. I'll turn the camera that way so you can see them. And they're, they're most likely going to go pee pee in my flowers. I tell you what, I don't mind it because I love them so much. Oh, I love them so much, y'all. They can pee pee in my flowers all they want. They are absolutely amazing. It's 50, my goodness. Wow. It's
is raining. Okay. Well, I'm hoping that tomorrow, I, I, I think tomorrow should be great weather. So when we go live, we should have absolutely amazing weather. Oh, it's 76 there. Did you say you're in Florida? How are the fishes? The fishes, they're doing well. The fishes, um, he just put, I think he put maybe four or five new fishes in the tank. And y'all see the baby running. He's going to go in the house. The other baby already went in. Um, fishes are doing well. He cleaned out um, the fish tank. He didn't take any water out. But he scrubbed the back wall where there was a little bit of algae. Got the algae off of there. And then he went to the shop to purchase about four or five more fish. They're gorgeous. They have colors all on them. They have a really beautiful... Uh, we have a really beautiful black and white one. He's about this big and he's the cutest thing ever. So I'll, I'll, um, I'll show you all the fish tank uh, next time we go live. You got storms coming. Oh my goodness. In Illinois. Okay. Y'all, I ain't got no lip gloss on. I can't see. I don't feel like myself if I ain't got lip gloss on. I need my lip gloss. Let me see. Oh, it's not going to be severe. Okay. I don't know where the comments went, y'all. Where the where the comments go? Hey, you got both babies in there, honey. Hold on, y'all. Baby. Baby. They, neither one of them hear me. Baby. Do, do you uh, have both babies? Babies, fall out. Y'all got them both. Okay, okay. Mommy watching. Oh, <laughs> they're back. They probably went to go get some water, y'all. It's so funny because they know where their water is. And when they want water, they'll go get it. <laughs> they will. You'll say, where are they? Where are they? They're the ones and, got their water. And they'll come out licking their mouths, and their mouths will be soaking wet. And they don't want to get some water. Oh. Going to bed early, Heidi. Thank you for coming in and joining us. We had so much fun. Oh, what are you saying, Susie Q? About all the stuff that's going on in Chicago. Oh my goodness. Hey y'all, listen, there's a lot of stuff going on everywhere. And, and really, just to be honest, you just gotta stay prayed up. Stay prayed up as much as you can. And um, just do what you're supposed to do in life, you know? Uh, somebody says, let me see. Oh, it's stormy there. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, Heidi, thank you. Hey, if you come into the live tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow, Heidi. It, it is, Suzy Q. I'ma get this, I'ma get this hangnail, y'all. I'ma get this hangnail off of here. Anybody that cooked with me today, how was the recipe? Was it easy? Was the recipe easy? It's enough light. It's enough light. Come look at the light.
is very bright. Oh, mid seventies. Is seventy six there where you're? Okay, okay. Are the babies out here, or are they inside? Okay. And let me see what you say. Enjoying the evening bird songs in your yard. Hey, yes, that's great. I'm glad you're enjoying. I'm glad. Huh? You're not a fish person? Oh, but when you're talking food. Okay, 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 okay. Good night, Erica. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. Ain't nobody. Who's that behind you? Nobody. Ain't nobody back there. Uh, except for the dogs. I got a dog. No, but you know what? The dogs would have barked, Ron. The dogs would have barked. Let me see. I was watching one of your videos and you had nails on. Uh, I don't prefer to wear nails, but every once in a while, I, I like to have a nail on. And it has to be a rare blue moon for me to put nails on. But I like low nails because I cook. I like low nails because I like to keep my nails clean. You know, I, I, don't, I don't like long nails cooking in the kitchen, you know. Okay, I got I got two babies right at my feet, y'all. So I'm so stuffed, says Audie. Okay. True purple says true. Now, how many of y'all dogs most of the time do what they do best? They are absolutely amazing. How many of y'all enjoyed this watching this watching the sun go down here at the Young's house? Now we could totally we could totally do something really fun one night if you wanted to. I could get a, a um, I could start the bonfire over there on the little fireplace back there, and we can roast marshmallows one day. Is that something that y'all would be interested in doing? That's great, Ron. I'm so glad. And once again, happy anniversary to you and your beautiful wife. I love y'all so much. That would be wonderful. Okay, and it, it would be like really personal. And what I mean by personal is I will make sure that the camera is close so y'all can see me making s'mores or roasting marshmallows. I think it would be fun because you see how they can really light up the backyard. They just brought the, my husband. Well, Dakota just brought a little one out. Dakota just brought a little light out here. And my husband brought this big industrial light out here and we can really light up this backyard or when we're doing the fight you know when we're doing the uh roasting the marshmallows we could turn the lights down a little bit because the light from the wood would shine through it is beautiful right me and my husband was sitting out here the other night it was a weekend and it was just me and him, and we were sitting on the steps and having a good time. We did. Hold on. One of the babies, look at that. One of the babies done jumped on the couch. Look at him. Look at him right there. Hold on. Y'all see. Look at him. He about to get nice and comfortable. <laughs> look at that baby. Where's the other one? Pee, Pee get over there with Polo. <laughs> look. Look at both of them over there, y'all. Y'all see them? They get nice and cuddly. <laughs> look at him look at him having a good time y'all sit down over there y'all sit down don't go nowhere that's a great idea thank you gina okay okay how about we do it they they love their home they like this home more than they did the last home where we stayed on the golf course because um 
We didn't really let them do too much. This, we, we give them free range. We watch them. They know the perimeters of their house and where they're not supposed to go and all that good stuff. And they love it. And they pee pee here more. They uh, was potty training there on the pee pads, you know. Um, but out here, it's just straight using the restroom outside. And they do. They love it. You got, do you got two babies? Oh, no. I was going to ask my husband, did he have both babies? One went in the house, and there's the other one. He's still sitting there. You're such a good boy. It's not. It's not fenced in. Huh? -uh. You feel like a stuffed turkey. Okay. Okay. So that sounds like you enjoyed yourself. Baby, do you have polo? Polo. Yeah. I got print. I got Prince. He's on your couch. Oh, look, look at him being such a good boy, y'all. They are so happy. So we have a company coming out uh, in a couple of days because we have, uh, what is it? Siding underneath the roof that is falling down, so we taped it. It's not falling down. We just don't know how to fix it. They said put some type of clip on it, but we don't know how to do it. So we're going to have the people come out and fix it. And so I'm excited about that because I don't want that tape showing on there. I'm doing fine. Alan, how you doing? Thank you for coming in. Look at this beautiful night. The sun is setting. And we're having a good time here. Nicole says, oh my gosh, I'm late, but hello, Gina, hello, chat, hello, hello, Nicole, how are you? Listen, I always like to say, you're never too late, you're never too late, it's okay, as long as you ain't cooking with me, it don't matter what time you come in, just give a thumbs up on your way in, right? Just give a thumbs up. <laughs> what a beautiful sunset, y'all, I've had a great evening with y'all. Yes, Ron, that's amazing. You have to. Here's the thing. If you can, you have to. You know, just be safe. Just be safe anymore. You have to. <laughs> Forest monsters. Get out of here. Okay, Alan says he's good. His family is good. That's great to hear. And church is done. Okay. Candy. Can oh, man. Thank you, Sonia, for welcoming everybody coming into the chat. A honey bun cake. A uh, little, little bit. I want to eventually make a honey bun. Did you say a honey bun cake? I, I want to eventually make the honey bun cake. Um... I have an idea how it's supposed to be made, but what I would like to do is test it before I make it. Oh, so um, when it comes to, I'm going to be doing sticky buns. I was still indecisive on whether I was going to make sticky buns uh, for Saturday's live or if I was going to turn it into a video, but tomorrow will be the day that I decide and I'm going to let y'all know. <laughs> Oh, oh, you like roasted marshmallows? We're going to do it. We're going to do it here on this channel. <coughs> because it just gave me a good idea when he put these lights out here. I thought, we're going to roast marshmallows out here. It would be fun. And we got a lot of wood in the garage where we could do that. Nothing. Ain't nothing back there. You know you funny. Ain't nothing back there. <clears throat> well, you might, right here, you might see a light because we have some landscaping lights that light up at a certain time at night. See that? <laughs> and some things might look like they're shining behind me. <laughs> That's all that is. Y'all silly. I had such a great time with you all. Thank y'all for coming in and joining me today. Look forward to the new channel name so I can tell y'all to go over and subscribe. I'm going to get off of here, okay? 
I'm gonna get off of here, but it's a never goodbye. It's I'll see you later, okay? Give me a big old hug. I ain't getting off of here without, look at my blanket. I ain't getting off of here. This is actually my husband's blanket. I ain't getting off of here without a big old hug. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Tomorrow we're going live. Make sure to show up. Be there, be square. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna play some uh, traveling games while we're on the road, okay? Yes, Suzy Q, a new cooking channel. And it's going to be a healthy cooking channel. So I'm going to keep you updated on everything. When the channel is, is, is the word valid, when the channel is set in stone, okay? When we have the name, I'm going to let you know. When the channel is made, I'm going to let you know. So y'all can go over and subscribe so I can get that thousand subscribers and a certain amount of viewing hours so that we can start going live on that channel, doing all kinds of fun stuff, okay? And cooking healthy. Here at the Young's house. I love y'all, I'm getting off. I love y'all so much. My face is shining, my face is shining. Yes, we're going live tomorrow, I don't know what time, but I'll see y'all then. Okay, I'm gonna get off of here. Thank you to my moderators, I love y'all. I'm gonna call uh I'm gonna email Mildred and make sure she's okay. Okay. I'll see y'all later. I'm getting off. Y'all see my eyes are starting to close because I'm getting tired. I should be there tomorrow. Well, I hope you are. We're gonna have fun, okay? God bless you all. Thank you, 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 you. Thank y'all for watching. God bless and good night. Hey, listen, if y'all haven't seen my video today where I gave thanks um, for the 1 million subscribers, check that video out when you leave this live. Okay, it's it's a lot of fun. God bless and good night. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We're going to have fun. A whole get up. And if we get home in enough time, maybe we can do this again where it's dark outside. I got to see somebody in the woods behind Uh-uh, no. Did y'all hear him? Ain't no way. I'm out of here, y'all. Guess what he just said? Now, he said he just seen somebody in the woods behind me. I'm out. I'm out of here. Bye, y'all. Bye, I'm out. Bye, y'all.